Happy to go. All right. Say on. now. For everyone listens, when when Andy goes out, you have to go further down. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, cool. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Great to all have you here. Good. To, great to all have you here. All of you have you here <laughs> in a sentence that makes any sense? Maybe I don't know. It you is Friday. Know. It is Friday. All right, well, uh, oh, there we go. Morning. Morning, everyone. The advert's finally done. I've already just said morning, and I, had, I made a sentence that made absolutely no sense up as well. All right, let's just pretend that none of that happened then. Yeah. Um, what, what have I clicked on here? What, um, why am I seeing a Jet 2 plane? Why am I seeing a Jet 2 video? Go away. Go away, Jess Lynn. I don't want you. Skip video. I don't, I don't want a video. I'm confused. Well... I've been wanting to do this show here for absolutely ages. I can't wait for this. This is going to be mega. Yeah, we've got our first departure now. Our runway two is the uh, Brussels. Brussels. Brussels Airlines heading back to Brussels. What a way to start the show there, people. Oh. It's going to be a good one, I'll tell you now. I've really wanted to be up here for absolutely ages, but runway ups haven't really permitted it. So uh, we're going to have a morning of epic departures. Yeah, next hour we'll have an easy jet to Copenhagen. We're keeping an eye out for uh, for Michael. He's on the uh, uh, race flight, isn't he? And don't worry, we also get really good arrival shots here as well. Um, it's not just um, all departures. So sit back, do a mat, get your butt ready. <laughs> get your coffee on. I don't know. Have your toast, have your eggs and soldiers. Eggs get ready for some awesome action. got in the chat this morning i'm saying um, morning to paula before you do there you go oh wow okay good morning there you go <laughs> uh sarah jane good morning um oh, i'll see break swiss there good morning adrian morning adrian and there's paula i've just seen her message now okay i was on it i was on it man <laughs> uh, morning harry Great to have you in, mate. Oh, there he is, Mr. Friday Breakfast himself. Right, Morning, I Matt. saw him. I saw him, the reprobate. <laughs> Two in now rolling. Uh, go. Morning, Daryl. Daryl says the weather's really bad there today. Look, I've read everything before I oh, start the show today. I could have done the chat. Two is also in a feeder. Good morning, Craig. Morning, Rupert. Morning, mate. Great to have you in. Uh, morning, Martin. Morning, Claire. Claire, Claire, Claire. There you go. I don't even know what I was doing there, but nice to have you in, Claire. Oh. 
And just to say, the buggy passed with flying colours again. Yeah, it did. And other Claire, good morning. Good got morning. Two, got two Claire's. Morning, Claire, Claire. <laughs> Bong, bing. Bong, Della Bing missed the number one on the, um, what do you call on it? On the likes, finally. Uh, we've got an over the top coming. All right, fair uh, it just looks uh, nice morning. in this morning light. Morning, I don't Danny. It's particularly big. I could be wrong. Uh, there's a Ryanair flying over. We had beautiful, beautiful blue hour on the way down here this morning. It's oh, gorgeous. Really was nice. I don't think the sunrise is going to be epic, but the, the no. blue hour was amazing, wasn't it? It was. Uh, Lufthansa next out to Frankfurt. Excellent. Good uh, morning, Rob. We're in for a treat. And that is not just that Think Tom's coming down today. Oh, yeah. Get ready for that. Get ready. He won't say anything, <laughs> no, but he won't. will be here. <laughs> morning, Rob. Um... Yeah, I realised I realised I got an advert because for some reason I'm not logged into my. Um... Oh, I know why that's the case. You're on the wrong account, aren't you? No, 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 my um, flight radar. All oh, right. Yeah, no, that's, it's really weird. It's obviously logged me out. To log back in. Might explain my glitches a bit. Wow, open. Lufty's up really early. Right, well, that was my first nearly smack my hand against the tripod moment there. <laughs> I was really feeling that I was going to smack it there, but uh, luckily we got away with it. Yes. Fingerprint. There we go. All right, please lock me in. So we have a, we have a certain legend who's flying out today. He's not, he's not pinged yet. He's supposed to have gone out at 5.55. Yeah. I think he's causing chaos with his KFC. I think he's causing carnage, isn't he? And his uh, turbo pints. Okay, turbo. I'm going to have to do that when I uh, get home. I think that's really weird. Easy jet for Gibraltar. Oh, we love the jib. But yeah, Clyde is an amazing spot, isn't it? This is just peak aviation spotting. It really is. I love, love, I love the turn on mound and stuff like that. This is where it's at. This is where the proper action is. This is, you know, this is the fun bit. It's where the proper panning comes in and everything. This is, this is the best. You don't get any closer than we are right now, so uh, enjoy this, everyone. We have a a guitar. We've got the guitar. <laughs> yeah. There over. Uh... Just see that. Our finals. We've got a Ryanair Max now spilling up. Going to uh, Rash Rashrav, somewhere like that. There's an R and a Z and a W. And <laughs> um, we have the Air France A220, I think, behind it. I just saw it. It looked like it. I couldn't, couldn't see it properly on the little screen. Mm -hmm, yep. You'd be correct. Just to say, uh, as I did say when we started at the show, we do get some really good shots of the approaches here, so uh, don't worry. I know it's a bit breezy, but it's on the nose, isn't it, today? It is. Uh, I don't think it's going to be one of them sporty no. kind of windy shows. It's breezy, though. Good morning, Kirsty. Hey, Kirst. Hope you. Uh, hope things are going better for you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to just check my... Uh... Oh, there's A220. He's going here. Oh, I wish I recorded this.
tablet. All right, so you've got eyes on the uh, Qatar and things, haven't you? Yeah, I'm going to go on to that now, actually. I've uh, got a Ryanair that's uh, coming on. That's going off to uh, Warsaw. Cool. I'm going to just well, try and log into this again because this is going to drive me nuts. Um, I know that this Ryanair is now well, it's about to spill up, but we're going to concentrate on this arrival. It's pretty decent, eh? just because you don't have any bushes in the way like you do when we're uh, on the main south side mounds. Oh, exactly. Increase that a bit. Lovely flex in those Dreamliner wings there. Oh, flipping heck. It's quick. And it's awesome to see how the forces go off those wings as soon as it like, kind of touches down. It is, isn't it? Flex just goes. Okay, that's... Uh, Right now, it's now spilling up. We will jump onto that. Wowzers, how good does that guitar look? Oh, morning, Andy. And right, thank you. I'm glad it's not just me then. I'm logged in on my phone, but it's left me out of my iPad. So, uh, so flight okay, radar so having another issue. It's clearly now. flight radar having another issue. Okay, thanks um, for letting us know, Andy. Yeah, thank you. Right, okay, I'll start trying to log in then. Um, you'll be here all day and like, yeah. well, and like you'll be like 12 million miles behind in the chat and then you'll start complaining about being 12 million miles <laughs> behind in the chat and everyone will start going Liz why are you so far behind in the chat and I'll, then I'll go Liz what are you doing right, shut up then and let me carry on with the chat <laughs> uh, morning Dylan morning Chris morning Chris uh, Ian Brown good morning I hope and glory good morning what is what the well, I just popped into the premiere last night and went are you live at the moment and then realised <laughs> sorry I saw that uh, morning Roy oh, great to have you Roy I saw that what is I saw the quick deletion mate oh did you delete it yeah deleted it, it was oh. to, yeah I, I saw that I'll, oh. I'll leave it go mate but I'm going to call you out on the stream instead so uh, I'm ruthless mate uh, to eat in Naples. Um, waiting down there. We've also got an easy jet for and feeder. Uh, Ryanair to Bezier or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Ryanair to Mercia. Mercia. Right. Where's this Ryanair to? What's it? Be, what's it? Be jobby? No, still not. Still not on. He's causing havoc at the gate, and he's like going, one more pint. Hey! <laughs> he's probably been chucked off as we speak. <laughs> well, he was messaging me this morning. He was having a couple of turbo shandies. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I said to him, I said, right. Well, no, he said to me, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to KFC next. And I went, right, get yourself a bar get yourself one of them bargain buckets for one. You know, like the, the old ones that used to be 9 99 That's what's probably holding the delay up. They're probably trying to charge him excess hand luggage for his KFC bucket. Yeah, exactly. He's like fighting about that. Like they're going, no, you're not allowed to have KFC on board a flight. And he's like, you will never part me from my KFC. <laughs> oh, dear. That's all right, Chris. Chris is just handing over to the day shift. Awesome. Did I say morning to Roy? I don't think I did. Morning, Roy. I think you did. I did. I, I can't remember what I said like two, two minutes ago. Oh, hello. Never mind. Morning, hey. Dean. Oh, 
my wireless is up there. Yeah. I said, you should not do that, please. It's so awful. You went and pan in. What? So, all I've got, right, so I've got, I'm looking at my little external monitor, right, and all I've got is Liz just to, her head is literally just to the left of the uh, external monitor, and she's looking up at the uh, contrails above it, and she's just, her head's going left, right, <laughs> centre, and everything, and all I can see, instead of the plane, b- 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 is Liz, his head going everywhere. Sorry. That's not my fault that you're looking at my head. Someone said there was no freighty going over. I wanted to see if I could see it. Uh, that's not it. That's not a quad. I can't see it. Okay. I'm looking. It's probably it's probably in London by now. That one. If you're that bad, far behind in the chat. I'm not behind in the chat. All right. All right, Tui. H Doc, good morning. Good morning, great to have you in. Oh, Molly, good morning. Hope we're all doing well today. It is Friday. Everyone, get yourself a crunchy. I would agree. Might get myself one later. And then say you've got that Friday feeling. Right, right there, spilling up. It's Max. Right, lady crew, good morning. Next plane is lined up, ready to go. Looks like a A320. It's an easy jet anyway. It is, it's going to Belfast. I imagine it's gonna be up early. Don't know. I don't know, Liz. It could go long. It could go. Long. It, could go uh, it might do. It might do. Could go further than seven eight seven dash ten. Hugh bought us five coffees. Hugh, are you even in the chat? I didn't even see you in the chat. I've missed you in the chat. I feel really bad if I've missed you in the chat. Oh, Hugh's there. Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pass this one to Simon because it will take me about three thousand years to read out. Otherwise, yeah, you can do it. Oh wow. Okay. Watch your cut. Wow, that's the start of the message. Meow. Meow. Is Hugh, is Hugh contribution to the coffee fund? <laughs> oh, I know why. Yes, I know. Let's, let's just move over to the tower. Wait a minute. Might give it away. But hey-ho. There you go, Hugh. Just for you on that one. Uh, I'm just going to get this departure now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I'll complete that. I've got one hand on the iPad and I've got one hand on the panning handle. Multitasking legend. So, yeah, uh, I'll do it again. Right, it's Hugh's <laughs> contribution to the coffee fund. Liz, 
Ah, I see you're getting sneaky with the hidden emojis. I fell from uh, getting down the 18-wheeler. Now I have a sprained ankle. Oh, mate. Oh, no. Uh, can't join you for the whole stream, but I will stay until the Virgin A350 comes. That's a good choice. Uh, I today I thought uh, I asked the viewers as well uh, as you guys a random question. Since it's Friday, do you have a spice tolerance? Oh, well, this could be good. Oh. oh, we did the one chip challenge a few days ago, oh. and he regrets every single second of it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to start straight off strong with I'm not she's, doing... She's absolutely I'm rubbish. not doing a one-chip challenge. Not a chance. Yeah, I, I could do it, but it would hurt. Uh, I have... So I, I can... I used to be able to uh, do falls, uh, which is, is like a curry hotter than a vindaloo. Right. Um, I do go red face though, and I will get the sweats. I, I'm... I, I'm just open about that, but mm -hmm. I, I can eat it and uh, I can I can eat a whole one. So yeah, I used to be very good. I don't think I'm as good now because I, I haven't been practicing. I just I do go for like taste rather than spice now. Okay. But the only time I've been able to have spice is when I've had COVID. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Simon just goes right. We'll have the spicy thing. Whack all the chilies in there. Yeah, I did. I put loads of chilies in there. Even I was like, that's a bit too hot. But, uh, and I was you. like, I still I can barely taste it. Right, we have this right now, now going out. Let's oh. just go. Merci. Merci. Wow, that's a flat departure profile, that. That was really flat. So it was starting to tilt uh, vertically that one. It just never happened. Oh, wow. Uh, Ian said, I love the, um, the video. The, the, well, it was short, wasn't it? With all the um, the overheads. The, well, they're all, uh, the, they're all uh, quads. quads. Yeah, um, it's good. But with that. the music. I know uh, H. Dot like that as well. Yeah. I think Simon should maybe do some more. Just saying. I'm going to be doing more stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed it as well. Um, something a wee bit different. So, uh I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for letting me know. So I won't lie, I think after the stream on Wednesday, because we were in the tent for a lot of it, I, we weren't going to do this show. Mm. We're, gonna, we're just going to say, we'll take it easy and be 100% for the, uh, the Sunday show. But I think, you know, the, bu the buggy's definitely helped, hasn't it? It has. Um, and a certain legend is flying out uh, a little bit later. He uh, is. He's off to tenors on the A330. So we said uh, we'd come out and do it. Make yeah. sure we get his departure. And if you don't know who it is, it's, uh, it's one of my best mates in aviation, Ender, Ender Burke. So uh, it's going to be amazing to catch him yes. going out. There's two. He's off to Marrakesh. Again, I wouldn't mind going there today. I wouldn't mind either. Got Virgin A330 from Atlanta on finals. Right now, crossing the runway at the back. Uh, that one is going to Genoa. The one that's pinged up is going to Cologne. And Hugh has gifted five memberships. Thank you, Hugh. <laughs> Mate, I hope you get your camera early. I hope you get that extra day of rental, by the way. Oh, God, yeah, definitely. You can always uh, always love a cheap Can't say no to that, can you, when you get it early. So uh, fingers crossed for you on that one. Yeah, fingers crossed. But thank you so much. And uh, if you've just been gifted a membership and you're in the chat, please do say thank you. He was having a chilli dog yesterday as well. Oh, yeah, you said. Look nice. I, I, like love, a I love a good chilli dog, mate. Yes. So... Uh, can you see the Virgin yet that's on uh, fire? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Okay, that's cool. I'm just trying to see if uh, if he snuck out early. He might have, you know. i got a feeling he has, you know. Yeah. He has. Oh, sorry, Michael, because he would have been in the chat. Apparently it went at six, though, but it must have been literally as we, we were. We didn't see it because we were on flight we were radar here. looking for it. Oh, how weird. Oh, I'll send him a message apologising and say I'll buy him a pint when I eventually go for a drink with him. Definitely. I'm sure he won't say no. I think he'll forget very quickly, put it that way. <laughs> it's about to say because it was going to be the only Ryanair that's going out late today. I know. 
Jetsu after Pisa, that's a 737. I'm going to concentrate on the Virgin Atlantic. Okie dokie. Plus, it's going to the worst airport I've ever been to in my whole life. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, we saw that, the uh, Turkish Dreamliner that's due in uh, Certainly did see that. It's only delivered in February. Uh, Dogwood, good morning. Uh, there's a, there's an S, apparently there's a, a 7.5 going into STS as well today. Uh, we won't be here for that one, but uh, something different. All right. Virgin into the flare. Oh, oh, having a couple of moments there. Only very minor, though. Hillary say no, 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 spice. <laughs> um, super blonde food, scampi is as exotic as I get. My mum's like that. She's just like, the, even just the slightest hit, she's like, nope, nope, don't want it. Bland and that's fine. Yeah, your dad has to do like two dinners sometimes. He does, he, he, has to, he has to faff around sometimes. <laughs> My dad, he does do that. Like, I know they've got like friends um, that come over and like one of them. Is I think she's pescatarian, not that they're really fish people. So, but he'll always do like a, a whole separate pan and stuff. So I think he's I think that's he's just used to it. And <laughs> uh, got Mark. Good morning. I thought you were going to sneeze then. Right now, lined up, ready to go. Uh, so, Lady Crew, yes, yeah, so um, we're going to get the um, potential names in. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do that in a minute. We'll have a, yeah. if we've got a couple of minutes after this one goes out, we'll have a chat. Yeah, cool. We'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. Morning meeting. Uh, this is off to Genoa. Oh, it's one of our favourite airports again. Get yeah, one of the most, under, I, I think this is like, the most underrated approach in aviation. There you go. No one goes on about it, and I think it's as good as quite a few other airports. So, yeah, uh, this was just... Uh, who, who was it? Lady Crew. Lady Crew, thanks for uh, bringing that up. Um, so we got the new buggy. Uh, we said on the Wednesday show uh, that we are going to get the beautiful people of our chat and our members in two separate votes, well, two separate uh, questions or votes, uh, to give a name for our new buggy because uh, we feel that we have to have a name for we our do. chariot. <laughs> so, um, so what we've done is the first lot... Of, um, so we put a uh, questionnaire out to our members last night um, and again, this is perk of being a member. Uh, so we've asked for them for the suggestions for the name of the uh, the buggy or uh, or barrow or chariot. Other well, names do apply. <laughs> uh, so I can't believe how many people are putting suggestions in. It was absolutely unbelievable. I know. <laughs> I was watching the golf uh, and I was like, you seen how many people have put uh, suggestions in? <laughs> so we've had a lot. We're going to narrow it down. I think it's going to be four or five, I think. Uh, yeah. We're not sure yet. Um, and we're going to post those. Uh, so we'll choose them for our Sunday show. So on the Sunday show, we'll announce that. Yeah. Um, and then everybody, so anyone, you, know, you can be a member, you don't have to be a member, you know, uh, yeah. we'll put it out in our community tab. Uh, we'll put a poll up and we'll ask you to choose out of the best ones or the ones that I find the funniest I might get to think Tom to choose actually so, well, yeah because yeah, so he's independent he doesn't know pe he doesn't know people as well as like we do yeah, Jackson. There you go. we might have bias you've got Ryanair coming in you know yeah I don't care okay. uh, I've got two lined up so then we'll ask him to choose a few um, and then we'll ask people then we'll ask everybody to choose their favourite and then we'll have a name for uh, our new buggy can't wait alright Tariq to Palmer next out 
But if you are a member of the channel, you should, got, you should have got a notification in your emails about it. Unless you're like me, you, well, you just don't get emails for things like that. It's in the community tab anyway, so if you're a member and you want to, if you've got a name for it. There is a picture as well to give you some sort of idea, maybe. Um, Stuart saying since I had COVID in September, um, so yeah, so last year, um, virtually no sense of taste or smell. Wow, so when my eyes see food, I expect to smell and uh, and flavour, and it almost uh, makes me believe my senses are back. Uh, but sadly, no, that is rubbish. Sorry for the pants, Pam. Um, yeah, fingers crossed it comes back. I know um, there's like smell training um, kits you can get. And they're like, they're like little pots and they, oh, they probably just got, I don't know what's in it. But they're like just like quite strong scents that uh, help you kind of regain your smell. You might already know this, but there's like, I know there's like a citrusy one. Um, there's a few others that are quite strong. You're meant to just sort of smell them, like one and kind of try and get it back that way. I think it's one of them. It takes a bit of perseverance though, which is uh, it's a bit of a pain. Right, next out, Jet 2737. Awesome, uh, Warren, good morning. Good morning, Warren. Great to have you in, mate. God, Liz, are you going to tell him? No, different Warren. Oh, a different Warren. Oh, I thought it was... Sorry, we've got two Warrens as well. I don't, I don't look at the chat. No, he doesn't. I don't look at the chat, so I can't tell who it is. If I hear Warren, I just go, he's the Warren. Then go, he's the Warren. I go, oh. It's the same with everyone. Don't feel bad. I'll say certain names and I think it's one person and it's the other. <laughs> She just, she just leaves me hanging hanging out to dry every time. The Jet 2 will be going to Funchal. Ooh. Ooh. And then the Ryanair is off to Cologne. And, uh, Lord Crew, been a member for seven months. Seven month crew, Lord Crew! He <laughs> uh, said uh, one of the best, um, one of the best streams on YouTube, Think Planes. Oh, well, thank you. Take that off you, sir. I mean, there's, a, there's a lot of... It's not be better than living at large, that's all I care about. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag shots fired. There's so many live streams, uh, not just aviation. Like, I have a little look through from time to time. We was sea fishing yesterday, I found. <laughs> she was well into that. Oh, yeah. So, thank you so much. Got a buzz on finals. Buzzing. From uh, Poznan. Stoney, good morning. I have a bit of a good morning. Nick, good morning. Mike D, good morning. Good well, morning, Mike. Oh, like the best thing about this cart, mm -hmm. the panniers. Would you agree, Liz? Just toy you drink and everything. Bags. <laughs> panniers. Is this like a cycling term thing as well or something? Like that? It's just, 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 just go with it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm curious, how do you spell them? I just spell it. Well, I'm not going to tell you because she's got a phone out. She's going to be doing like little checks. Pan, pan, panniers. We'll just, right. put, we'll just say it as we're hanging it. Well, that's not that. What's that? Pannier Limited. <laughs> what do they do? Well, they got five stars on Google. I can tell you that. Now I found some sort of mouse type creature. This isn't going well for me. There you go. Keep going. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, we've got the buzz coming in. 
Some might say it's buzzing. It is buzzing. Uh, Jordy, good morning. Morning, mate. And uh, David, good morning. Uh, he's literally about to drive out the gates ahead to Christchurch. And Friday night drop in. Whereas David's doing Friday night drop in, Simon is a Friday night dropout. Big difference. How are you doing, well, my well, mate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm just saying because he said he'd be in later, but I think because we're not going to be here as long today, are we? No. Might be on TikTok, though. Well, we may on. We have to test a couple of things. On TikTok, yeah, we yeah. do. Um, but yeah, if you're not. Uh, I think it'll be done by the time you're done, David, but you'll have to watch it back. We might have to have a, a photo supper report for the oh, clubhouse again. There's a reason just to finish early there. <laughs> Assuming he'll probably have something at the uh, the Friday night drop in though. So, plus this will give us something to watch tomorrow. Look at that. We're so kind. <laughs> oh, nice, Tony saying. Um, Book to last minute holiday. I uh, wasn't expecting. I've already shotgunned the window seat on the plane. Boom! That's the way to start any holiday. I would agree. Hit right now from Milan turning on to finals. Got easy jet. Turn on to two, three left. Cool. They are going to Bilbao. Let's tell you what, it's actually not a bad sunrise, you know. It's all right. I don't bother with the window seat anymore. Just let Simon sit there. I can't say anything. Can well, you? exactly. I mean, you you are honest about that. Yeah. I did. In fairness, when when your eyesight is better, you always had the uh, the window seat, didn't you? I did. I was like, oh yeah, you can have the window seat. Now I'm just like, eh, no point. <laughs> That's a choice. It's not me. Just like you're not having the window seat. <laughs> it's too bright as well. Why am I finding the Airbus is far easier to pan than the, the, the Boeings today? I have no idea. I think I've got something against Boeing. I think you do. Oh, what about Boeing's post on Instagram yesterday? Uh, just two seconds. There we go. Carry on. Uh, I don't I, know, what was I it? I showed you it. So Boeing posted a picture of, you know, when, in January, where after the, the, the plug incident, was it? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they did those days where you know they had the reflection days and the shop floors and everything where you know mm. they did no work and everything about how to improve practices, and they were made. They, they were, I don't know who's who's in their PR PR department, but they're like going, at Boeing, we have we make time for reflection and all this kind of thing. I like the, it, trust me, the comments were not very nice to them. It was like I bet they were. Yeah, you, you really didn't think that out. Someone need. I, it's not often I would say someone needs to get the sack. But I, honestly, if they can't read the room on that, that's really really poor. It was a very poor post. As you can see, we've got a East Jet that's uh, it's pushed. I'll be coming over here in a minute. Yeah. Do you have that uh, one from right uh, from Milan? Um, that's coming yeah. in now. Uh, Matt, is the uh, is breakfast on order yet? Breakfast snack. <laughs> snack, yeah, that's it. Snack. It's not. It's not a. Uh... Uh, drones and planes. Good morning. Who's that, sorry? Drones and planes. Ah, oh, great to have you in, mate. Nice to have a chat with you. Another great streamer here at Manchester. Oh, wow. So Matt's saying that him and Mrs. C used to always swap around the window seat mid-flight. And now she's always uh, flying and I'm not. Uh, I'm not... So uh, reliably generous. 
I don't blame her. She does, she does go. She does fly a lot, doesn't she? She does. Yeah. She can't. She can't have it all her own way. <laughs> I think like we used to sort of do like you know, window seat for one person the way out, and then you swap on the way back. But I say in that like when we went to LA, you know, because we had the we had. The, no one sat next to us we had the three seats to ourselves that was great because you were just like you were like oh window seat I was like I've got two seats brilliant she's happy so it was... and I was on the way back it was just the twos so that was alright well, let's just go down to the bottom Yeah, Sparky, good morning. We've got beans on toast and scrambled eggs. Oh, that's a smoky landing from the Ryanair. Right mm. Can't go wrong with uh, beans on toast. And oh, no, it's decent, egg. that. Bit of egg as well, bit of scrambled egg. I'm not really a scrambled egg girly, I will say. If I make a home one, it's really good. Okay. I don't, I'll, like, I'll... I don't like anyone else's, though. <laughs> Sorry. I think my... Well, you made me one. I'll try it. But, um, my kind of issue is that I used to... Simon's going to shout at me. So I used to make scrambled eggs in the microwave at work. Oh, just, oh why are you so lazy? Because I was at work and all I had was a microwave. Lazy. Um, so it kind of just reminds me of work. <laughs> Ooh, Lady Crew saying breakfast report off to Greg's. Legit. Excellent. That is decent breakfast. Yeah, and just to say, because... Uh, is that coming round the back? Can I see? Oh, wait a minute, wait. What are you? Yeah, the plane flying over. There's a couple. No. Over... Is that going in from... There's an Edinburgh to Paris flight there. No, it's, it's, there's something like it about it. It looks like for Liverpool. Yes. So is it like an enter air? Enter air, yeah. Yes, get in there on the small screen. I'm so impressed with myself From there. Milan, it's a 737. There you go. Don't even need to go to Liverpool. I there you go. To be That's Liverpool. That's fine. <laughs> get, loon it large, get stuffed. <laughs> we are smashing it here at Manchester. We are getting all your arrivals. <laughs> we're going to come and hoodwink you. You are not... We're gonna, in 4K, we're going to smash it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Get you, yep. Oh, the Scout streamers, we're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't even have to go there. <laughs> Double bonus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, so I got the version. I do like Liverpool, by the way. I do. I do. I'm just. I'm just winding it up. We're just having a bit of banter. We just like to wind Paul up. I don't even think he's in the chat. I don't care, but I might clip that and send it to him. <laughs> so uh, what do you call it? Sorry, I was just, sorry everyone. I know I, was, I sounded a bit dodgy there, but I was just doing it just to wind him up. Um, version on to Gay three fifty from Orlando will shortly be turning on to finals. Well, that's going to be Hughes' last plane before he uh, goes off to London. Nod, and I don't blame him to be honest. I but... don't blame me either. But, uh, that that's done me that little won't lie. I know it has, I can tell. Dean did the same to me last night in the message. <laughs> can't, I, I can't go into it on stream, but it was it was funny. I just laughed at him for like Stephen saying uh, bacon egg and tin cherry tomatoes. Uh oh, Cherry having cherry tomatoes. No, Stephen. Oh Stephen. Uh bacon egg, because uh Matt's sausage and egg, isn't he? I don't, I don't know, Matt might, might, might be kind of me- mixing it up. Mixing right. it up, Matt. With cherry tomatoes. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's Stephen. Uh, and that's a, that's a sarni uh, for breakfast. Um, plenty of pepper. Isn't it a bit soggy with the tin tomatoes on it? Unless you've got some decent bread. Oh, you've got decent the bread then. There. What? I thought, there was so- I thought something came out of the runway, but it was just actually the reflection of the oh, fire rig at the s- bottom of the airfield. I thought air- you said... Um, there's a... I forgot there was a runway there. I was like, well, that's concerning. Oh, oh. It's it's, uh, it's me. I like to get all the Liverpool arrivals on the our stream. Oh, great. Um, pollen. Hi. Great. Yay. 
So they're just getting a load of them over, um, and then I think they'll uh, they'll get them all parting very quickly. So uh, we're going to have some great action for you in the next minute or two. Uh, we have a decent sized plane going overhead. I think it could be a dream miner, but I, I'm not panning up there because it's literally right above us now. It's an A330. Oh, that's totally wrong. It's Delta. Hey, look, it's probably like 35,000 feet and it is going through a contrail in fairness. Well, that's all right. We'll let you off. Thanks. Maybe. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's definitely an A330 now. <laughs> well, yeah, now I've told you. Okay, so I've got an East Jet. Spark, you sound a lot like Simon. Like, so you were like really anti-microwave and then now you're like, oh, okay, I'll warm the beans up in there, I suppose. Like, if we do some... Well, no. No, let, let's just be realistic. Go on. Because your hobs are a nightmare. And they could warm some beans up. No, 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 but you're usually doing something else at the same time. And there's yeah. no, A, there's no space. B, mm. you don't really have adequate panage. <laughs> um, and that thing will turn off if there's a slight splutter anywhere near it. Or it'll probably blow at the mains or something. So, yeah, just, just stick it in the microwave. It's just less hassle. Trust me, <laughs> it, it's, it's just the... Easiest way of doing it without any hassle. So um, no, I'd, I'd stick it. I'd do it on the hob normally. Oh wow! You said did uh, scramble in the microwave uh, when I was a kid and caused the microwave to explode. Oh wow! This is very. Oh, you left the spoon in. <laughs> I think we've all done that. I can still remember. Um, oh, I've not done that. Well, no, you're not a microwave. I remember being... So, we never had a microwave at home when I was a kid, but my grandma and granddad did. And I remember baking. I, th I don't know if I was baking. I think sometimes it was just like, let's melt some chocolate and put it on plain digestive biscuits to pass some time because you're a kid and it's something to do. And <laughs> granddad left the, the knife in the uh, the microwave. And the next thing, there's just all the smoke just coming out the back. And then the knife's just, like, melted. Oh into the truck like a trooper though did you eat <laughs> it well yeah because he's like we'll just scrape around the knife <laughs> i'll just get it'd be fine it'd be fine <laughs> i was like mm, burnt chocolate with a bit of metal in it <laughs> tasty all right lofty on the roll that easy jet was off to tenerife <laughs> there's a lot going out to tenerife today yeah, lofty going to munich so we've got the uh, Tanqueray 330 going out, and I think there's a 75 going out as well. Oh, here he is. Living it, living it, living it large. Oh, Paul, you're done. Give up streaming, mate. <laughs> yeah, Paul, give up streaming. We've just got the arrivals at Liverpool in 4K, mate. Got the Enter Air, absolutely smashed it. It looks amazing. <laughs> give up. Don't bother. There you go. You've been sold. Uh, <laughs> Matt, good morning. Oh, good uh, to see you though, mate. A big Al, good morning. I uh, got an arrival, which is the Virgin A350. Let's get on that. Uh, Paul R, good morning. Um, uh, yes, we will be here on Sunday. Uh, uh, on the BS75 gonna... to Orlando. Oh. Well, we'll be getting that. What time's that? I... Uh, on Sunday, that is. Yes, what time? Oh. So aren't we on two Orlandos now? 75 usually always goes out first, about probably wrong here. Mantis look there from the A350. Oh, still not down. It's now. It's that puff of smoke over the Nigel.
11. Yep, definitely get that. Yeah, I knew it had to be around there sometime. How good does that look? Does anyone in the chat know what time uh, this goes out at today? Have a look myself. I should be able to do this. I'll, I, don't worry, I'll be, I'll be able to sort this one myself. I'm dead clever, me. Arrival. Is that one from Orlando? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, so I saying, um, uh, the best thing I ever did as a trainee, uh, sorry, as a training, uh, when I was training as a chef, um, I left the whisk uh, in the chocolate bowl in a 1K microwave, like 1,000 pound microwave. It said it went up like a rocket boom. <laughs> That's out at 11 today. Okay. I'm getting footage of that regardless, whether we're live, we're streaming or not. Etihad on finals from Abu Dhabi. It's a, sad, uh, a triple seven. There we seven go. Seven years. I was going to say a, a seven, seven, seven then. I was like, that's not right. 77, seven. 777. I love the Boeing 700. Seven, double seven. <laughs> How many dodgy ways can we say triple seven? Double seven, seven. Seven at the front, seven at the end, one in the middle. Sounds like countdown, I'll take two from the top and one from the bottom. I oh, know. Oh, Barry the Goose. Barry! Right, let's get on to the uh, Etihad. And we're just going to uh, concentrate on the arrivals for a minute or two. We've got some decent heavies coming in. I feel a bit late this morning. I think it's like standard time now for them. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bag, good morning. Morning, Samil. Morning, mate. How you doing? Oh, that's uh, going to be Matt's Nigel in a couple of weeks. Nigel! Hope you have a delay, mate. No, I'm oh, wow. Brutal, that, wasn't it? That really was. There's no need for that. Oh, the light's so good now. Lovely ribbons off that triple seven. Could that Nigel have parked in any worse spot for the arrivals? Is it what, sorry? Nigel's just parts of the most oh, right. ridiculous spot for the arrivals. Nigel's just being awkward. Well, there's obviously some slot delays at London, isn't there? Yeah, it's just standing up for, for Matt, isn't he? It's just like, yeah. Um Ah, oh, sorry to hear that, Stephen. Hopefully you can uh, rebook. Um, oh, flipping heck. Right, I'm going to deal with that in a second. Um, yeah, Stephen, hopefully you can rebook that. Uh, I, I can totally understand why if you had, like, ear surgery that they wouldn't want you to fly. No. Um, I hope you still do something nice for your anniversary and uh, you can get over to Dubai uh, once you're all uh, better. 100%. Look at that beautiful old livery. Well, I know he was saying he's off and uh, just gifting five memberships as well, one of which has gone to me because apparently I'm in a pot for just all gifted memberships and everything now. So what we've said about this I've is I've said that, that if I ever get one, I will give one back. There we go. Oh, well. so I'll uh, thank you Hugh first of all thank, thank you, you so much mate uh, uh, thanks for li uh, gifting Liz a membership she really needed one uh, I finally use the emojis because she's uh, she's a scammer I, I pay every month for, uh, for mine so uh, you know it's well, she's such a scammer like in the pool for gifting memberships but uh, thank you so much mate take care have a great sleep and because uh, you deserve it because it's do, like absolutely. silly o'clock over there and, um uh, I'm just trying to think how to do it because... Oh, I know. 
Uh, will this let me on air? This is me trying to find any device that I can actually... If not, she'll do it for the Sunday show. Yes, absolutely. I will remind her, trust me. Well, the problem is I haven't got access because someone thingy to um, gifted memberships because YouTube's an absolute pain in the bottom right. so obviously the British Airways like I say has got a slot delay um, as we know at Heathrow uh, with the holds there from when we've done shows um, you know regardless of the weather you know, the weather can be quite good there and you can still have just so many aircraft coming in at one time yes. um, that they'll have slot, well, effectively slot restrictions for the, usually for the short haul aircraft because the long haul ones are in the air as it is. So um, obviously that's the case at the moment and they're just waiting down by the uh, end of the runway just in case uh, an available slot becomes available. So uh, yeah, there won't be a second. I actually can do it through this. So there you go. I've just got to put my password in. Everything's backwards on there. Is it doing it? Is it not doing it? What's happening? There you are. There you are. Android to the rescue there. Thank you so much, Liz Robinson, for <laughs> gifting one uh, membership to the uh, Think Planes thing. Uh, if you've just been gifted uh, that membership by the amazing Liz Robinson, <laughs> please don't say thank you. Please <laughs> say, you scam artist. And uh, <laughs> Oh dear, what a nightmare that was. Right, well, at least I managed to sort that now. This one's up early. We could have a... Going uh, to Paris. First prop, prop, prop on the finals. It's the Aer Lingus ATR 72 from Belfast. Excellent. And next EasyJet's jet's about to come on. Uh, also got a Jet 2 A321 Neo coming out. I'm going to record that one. Yeah. Not much recording, but... I don't mind getting that. You did it now? No, it's that. Oh, it's right. the, the A321 oh, right, okay. coming out. Um, I will get that. Uh, Paul R. So we might not be... We'll, probably won't be live on YouTube, but we will be getting the footage of that version going out. So I'm sure we'll put it up at some point, won't we? So uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll do I'll do an upload of that. There you work. go. So we will catch it. Uh, Stephen, good morning. I'm going to catch up the chat. We did now. say we were going to 11 though, didn't we? No, we said we were catching Ender. I think we said we were going to 11 though. No, we didn't. I think I did. No, we didn't. I think I did. So you decided that. Oh, no, I didn't, did I? Yeah, you said we'll get yeah, Emirates. Emirates is out at 10. We said yeah. Emirates is due out around then, so we'll probably... Yeah, so you said, said the Emirates. That's yeah. That's what we said. Yeah. So that means 11. It better not. Well, because then we've got, we've got to do a TikTok because we've got to sort TikTok out. Yeah. Um, there is method behind the madness on that one. Oh, Nigel. Nigel's got a slot. Nigel. I might get Nigel as well. Okay. Oh, we have, we have some Nigel updates for you. Oh, gosh. I'm actually quite excited about it, though. Aren't I? I'm glad you are.
Uh, so yes, we should be live next Friday, so we uh, should get that Emirates. Yeah. We've got finals. Prop. Know, prop, props just landed. Oh. It's vacating as we speak. Euro wings from Dusseldorf. Excellent. I couldn't get the prop. But we will get that on the way out, and I will change the panning handle position so we can get a full <laughs> departure on that one. What more can you ask exactly. for on the stream? Uh, FSC Festa, good morning. Uh, Joe! Joe! <laughs> good morning, Joe. Hope you're doing well. Absolutely, mate. Oh, I don't think that's going anywhere for a minute, so okay. let's concentrate on the Yorowings from Dusseldorf. Cool. Uh, chemical tanker driver, good morning. William, good morning. Uh, John, good morning. How's it? Chemical tanker driver saying YouTube's changed its layout. What's that on? Because uh, it looked pretty normal to me on the uh, phone and things, but I know the TVs. Um, see, I don't know how what TVs are like updating and stuff. I know over the past few weeks people have been saying that like the app on the TV is different and like the chat's just always there and they're always tinkering and you get it yeah. rolled out at different rates as yeah, well. Yeah, you do. Um, that morning scary. I need to have a look on uh, YouTube on the TV and see what it's actually like. And compare it, like, because I've actually got YouTube on the TV and then I've got the fire stick as well, so. Right, jet two. Just double checking that my exposure is right now because uh, it is pretty bright. A321 at Neo off to Alicante. Is that yes. Sunny Bravo. Yeah, you're not lined up straight there, lad. You're actually aimed at <laughs> us. Uh, top you. good morning. Ah, uh, good to have you in, mate. Great reel yesterday, the Virgin A350, by the way. Uh, really into that one. Nice wider perspective, worked really well. Awesome. Uh, Andrew, good morning. I am recording. It's changed on uh, Chrome on the desktop. I'll have to have a look at that because I use Chrome. I'm curious. I'll have a look at that later on. And, uh, Stoney, I think a lot of people do that. Put it on the TV and then chat on the phone. No, I've done that in the past. I don't now because I can't... Well, I don't watch that many streams, but I can't see the TV. So it's kind of pointless. <laughs> Oh, we can do an extended departure on this one because there's uh, nothing coming in or out for a moment. Oh, there is a plane that's uh, on the taxi out. I yep. can see uh, that from there. Ryanair from Belfast is on finals. And that's uh, going to be followed by the Aer Lingus A330 from Orlando. Oh yeah, just going on about you know and the buggy on the way down today. Yeah. Like so, we got to the spot where if people have seen the video, of, uh, if you're in the Pink Plains Clubhouse, you would have seen the video of me pulling the the old buggy through the mud, and it wasn't great, was it? No, it wasn't. Uh, but it's even worse there now, isn't it? There's like a big kind of swamp hole. I nearly fell this morning. Yeah, you nearly did, uh, and the thing just went through it and powered through, didn't it? It did. It was impressive. Got a little excited. <laughs> Hugh's posted a screenshot of uh, that, gift, that set of gifted memberships. And <laughs> uh, you've done you. I've done it back. I've given one back. She's done it. She's done it. 
She got the cobwebs off her purse, mate. I really did. And she has. She's like, there you go. <laughs> Whoever got that gifted membership is it's the most like kind of precious gifted membership. I know. Ever. Enjoy it. The Yorra Wings going all the way back to T2. And we have Jet 273 800 with a split sim. Uh, scimitar's coming out. <laughs> so, it's, you know, like, so it's scimitar, isn't it? But, like, do you know, like, when you try to breathe it, it just doesn't sound right. And it really annoys me, that. It sounds like simming, plain sims. Mm, I, I don't just, like that. I just think enough people call it scimitar that we should just change the uh, the way it's pronounced and that's how language evolves and let's just roll with it let's not delay the inevitable it will happen i think you and waters are going to have a fight waters tell her it's all right boeing's doomed anyway <gasps> <laughs> oh dear me um i was so fast to say no uh, fortunately to my edge every time i hit nige uh, and while well, Nigel Plain has mentioned, um, I, I sing uh, Making Plans for Nigel hey. by XTC. I don't know that one. I'm going to have to listen to that. <laughs> so, uh, so we are fine. We, we, we were we, fine. Yeah, we, well, yeah. So we, we, we've, not ever, we've not said where we're going because we're keeping things a, a surprise. But we, uh, we did say we, we booked with Nigel, an old BA down from London. And I got an email last night. I was like, oh God, what do they want now? Because they've already sent one in the past. Like, they, they moved the time by about five minutes, like a lot of airlines do. Well, we're not flying. I think they've heard us. And they're like, they're not flying on a Nigel. So go on, what are we flying we're on? We're flying on that. And I, I, I've got to be honest, bring on the Danish birds. Woohoo! <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I won't lie. I'm, I'm more excited about this. And I know it sounds dodgy. It but, is dodgy. Um, it, it's just going to, it'll turn out to be better than me just bashing BA for, for, for a reason. I, I think it'll be a really good flight and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so get ready uh, for a lot of, uh, oh, there's that plane. Yeah. I'm going on that plane. Who that? That's that. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't wait for that, to be honest. But yeah, it should be interesting. Seems to be a lot of um, moving around with BA, though, doesn't there? You know, uh, yeah. we know that Paul had that issue with uh, with his. Mm-hmm. And now we've got this one. So, you know, this, there seems to be a lot of change to their scheduling at the moment. Interesting to see what else is being brought in. Yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to see. Uh, Stephen saying that I've got Think Planes on a 75-inch 4K TV. Boom. You will really be able to see what the pilots have like, got with them for breakfast or whatever and their little packed lunches. Oh, what's that? Is that look like an A350 or 330 or something? It's the Ellinger 330. Yeah. All right, we'll get this and then we'll jump onto that. Morning, Al. Easy jet off to Alicante. Is he's live on the 721 train that is oh, choo -choo. That one. oh just cut it in time well they land right on the bump there they, oh yeah they did wowzers that's a brave pilot who does that yeah just a bit right Chris good morning uh, Big Al, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Thank you for that, mate. Do appreciate that. Perhaps another absolute legend there. I would have to agree. Sharing the love. No, Liz, you're not one of them. How do you mean I'm not one of them? I just, I gave it back. I paid it forward. Uh, Fred, good morning. Where's the beast? Uh, I've got a fan. Just 
happening as uh, this thing is just not playing ball. Like, oh, oh we got a 7.5 coming out. Guess what's getting recorded? Did we have a 7.5? I think there's a possibility. We've got a Jet 2, 7.3 now rolling. So, just flying past Stansted. Okay, so... Well, it's not too late, is it? No. Oh, this one's up early for uh, Jet 2. Going to Rome? Oh. Obviously, everyone's booked with Ryanair because they've heard our tips about uh, who to fly with. Yeah, exactly. Even Dale, the EasyJet pilot, was a little bit jealous of that one. He, he commented oh, really? on that. Like, yeah, he did. He was like... Uh, yeah, we never get views like that on our, and I just like going, I know you want to be a Ryanair pilot. <laughs> okay. Got that easy jet, and behind it we have the Jet 2 757. Seven. Come on, show me some pencil love. Uh, Malaysia A380 fan at Dallas, Australia. Good morning. <laughs> uh, Basically, good morning, Sam. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Sam, great to have you in. Oh, and thank you for gifting a membership as well. Always like that. It's always you, you, you always go, I always hear, oh, I hear Sam, and then they say, oh, I'll give you mention. So thank you for that. We do appreciate it. We do. It. Uh, is your off to Barcelona next? Very nice. Uh, the uh, 7 5, we're well, going to Faro. And then the EasyJet down there as well, we're going to Palma. Palma. Palmer, the Majorca. <laughs> Morning, Laura. Great to have you in, Laura. Uh, Eddie's been a member for 11 months. 11 months, crew! Saying uh, good morning from St. Helens. A uh, great show as always. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, one month to go to the big, the one year. Exactly. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, enter air that I got going into Liverpool. <laughs> How could people not? Best, li best footage I've ever seen from Liverpool, <laughs> Ooh. Which survey might say how best streamers now that we do that? <laughs> well, their uh, thing they do is flawed, so who wants to surprise yeah, exactly. me? <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, I just had a bit of a yawn there. I'll tell you what, I've got a good in here, you know. Just watching the golf with me last night, weren't you? Oh, right. I thought you would. I, I was like, ah, he, he's, he sounds like he's talking about me. He won't be talking about me. Oh, no, you get, you get, you get, you'll get your praise. Yeah, I was saying that'd be great if they could um, have, like, the real close... You know, the real close-up on the, the golf ball. If they could do that the whole time, I'd be able to see everything. So you've got... So if you watch golf, you've got Shot Tracer, but we've also got Simon Tracer, so I actually have to point up the screen where the ball's going and what shape it's got. Oh, no. I'll be like, oh, that's gone to the left. I'm like, to be honest, it just looks like a, a person bent over. I can see no more than that. Right, let's see his jet going out. Oh, 
Do you know what? We had a good time in Croatia. Uh, not been to Dubrovnik myself, but uh, Croatia is lovely. As I'm sure you now know. Oh, have that go to the bottom there. But I noticed the 75 is lining up. And I will be recording this absolute beauty. Barry, shut up. It's Barry the Goose, by the way. He's just, honestly, it's non stop chuntering all this morning. Oh, it's coming, it's coming on the airfield. There we go, there we go. Barry Camp, Barry Camp, sat the 7.5s. Right, sorry, let's get back in the 7.5. Lovely. All right, where was I? Um, oh, thanks, Andy. Only breakfast show worth watching. Oh, I'd agree. That. I'm biased. I, I will, you know, the great thing with these weekday shows now, you know, with the runway time, just gives us so much variety in regards of locations that we go to. Oh, it really does. <sighs> uh, Christine, good morning. Debbie, good morning. Uh, James, good morning. Uh, Mrs. Living It, Living It, Living It Large. Hey, you've got a proper person in the chat. <laughs> Not that Paul. Vicky. Don't listen to Paul. You don't have to go to um, Liverpool Airport anymore. You yeah. can come to Manchester and we can we can get the planes from there, from it, from here. You know what I mean? How good's that? Just have me, you, and Liz here. I'm gonna brew. Paul can be at Liverpool Airport and we can do a proper stream here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we've got the uh, is it Logan Air and Brea coming in? Um, it yeah, could be yeah, with that with, transponder. Yeah, with its dodgy transponder, it looks like it's gonna go and land on Barry the Goose. To be honest. Quality. Um, um, like I was saying, they did uh, visited Dubrovnik for a day um, when we went to Croatia. Uh, it's on the list for a full holiday. Yeah, so I, I think I got as far as Split. I kind of flew into um, Zagreb and then went to um, uh, Plavichka Lakes, however they pronounce. The really nice sort of blue lakes there. Uh, just then, kind of just drove around a bit. It's a very pretty country. Was, uh, I don't know about now. It was cheap. When oh, I it's gone up, hasn't it? You know, like yeah. could you, you know, we've seen Jet Two like heavy advertising over mm. there now, haven't we? And yeah, the, the um, what's the other one? Montenegro as well. That's the other one there, really heavily advertising. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I'm a flight radar as well, because obviously it's for whatever reason it's logged me out. Um, that was that's why it threw this one because it's a Jet 2 advert. I was like, well, I've seen a video about Jet 2. Um, so they're, they're going full and they must have a sizable advertising budget, Jet 2, to be on the TV, the radio, yeah. you know, online. They must, they must be raking it in. Well, yeah, because not just like that they're on there, but the, just the, the frequency that they're on. And at peak times as well, it's none of this like. 5am nonsense where no one can hear but it's really cheap <laughs> but the only person that we hear it is us yeah. <laughs> couldn't stream uh, you can uh... see the buzz that came in earlier down there buzzing it's cheeky tail a lot of Ryanair's there for the second wave of those going out should be good um, EasyJet seem to be pretty much gone though Got I've done it uh, Tony good morning that one's out I mean I don't know what's on the other side over there oh yeah no, there's still a couple of EasyJets on that side um so yeah, that'll be interesting to see. What's that there? Sorry, I'm just having a, a nosy. Oh, it's Jet 2 tail that's in there, I think. Okay, cool. So, yeah, these Jets have uh, cleared their first wave out. Well done, Mighty Orange. 
the mighty as always. Uh, Roy, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Roy, 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 Roy. Oh, wonderful European ambassador. Ambassador. He's like, he's like the Ferrero Rochers on a Friday. You know where it's at. A Ferrero Rocher on a Friday. That's a fancy Friday, that. That is a fancy Friday, isn't it? You know, no <laughs> messing around there. Roy just comes off and he goes, he's, he's got him on a tray. And he's like, oh, here's I can see that. Ships. I can see that. I think you can visualise it, can't you? Yeah, in the like the pyramid sort of, well, the cone pyramid. What are they called? A cone pyramid. There's a name for it. Just a pyramid shape place, aren't they? In a pyramid shape. There you go. <laughs> I'm trying to think back to like, my child. You know when you like we're in school and learn shapes. And he spent like an hour and a half getting them perfectly on this pyramid, and then I just come along and just pick the one at the bottom, just to be awkward, yeah. and uh, knock the whole pyramid down. Ruin it for everyone. I just ruin it for people, don't I? <laughs> but thank you, Roy. You can't be carried away there. <laughs> we did, didn't we? Like, yeah, where are we going with this one? I have no idea. Uh, do you have playing on finals? Yeah. I'm just keeping it on this easy jet. Um. So I will say the one thing I find the weakness about this spot um, is that you don't, you can't zoom in to the terminal like we can normally do. Um, yeah, we missed that. But uh, got a it's... decent sized plane coming towards us. I will say that. I'm assuming it's not the one on finals because. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's an over the top. Okay, that's a uh, Logan Air prop from the Isle of Man. But this isn't a Logan Air prop, Liz. Oh, right, okay, hang on a minute then. That is. That's I've pressed on Logan Air. <laughs> not right. <laughs> um, American 777. Yeah, that uh, works for me. Uh, JFK to Delhi. Oh, that's a. That's a bit, that's a bit oh, of a... That is a fight and a half, that, isn't it? Yeah, so... Oh, gosh, adverts. I don't know where anything's gone on my flight radar now, because... Uh, so it left five hours and, like, 35 minutes. So five and a half hours ago. And it's got another seven hours, 44 minutes yet. Ouch. That's a long flight, that. Good luck with that, peeps. Enjoy it. Ah, we have the Logan Air. Wind's just gone up a bit. Yeah, has, hasn't it? Uh, but yeah, Logan Air prop coming from the Isle of Man and the EasyJet from Milan. A319 today. They really mix it up, that, they that do, fight, don't that. they? They do. One minute it's a 321 Neo, next minute it's a 19. Keeping you on your toes. Uh, two boy, good morning. Uh, good morning, Suzanne. Great to have you in. Um, she's under the same. My uh, friend flew on the jets on jet to on Monday. Uh, she said the flight and service uh, was spot on. Good. Uh, she said I've never flown with them, uh, but will be in August. Well, you have a great flight. They are very good. Oh, like I say, you can you can vouch for them. I've never flown with them. What Jess is... Glynn wants to uh, sponsor me to take a flight. I saw a TikTok. Uh, where someone was uh, having a pop at Jet Tea with all the Jess Glynn. And like they said, it's when they were boarding, they went to the toilet, <laughs> the, when the service was coming out, and they were like, they were going mad with it. It was like, oh. Yeah. Sounds uh, about right. But, uh, but the, the actual service you get on board is really good. So you can offset that. It's a nice flight. Yeah. De Debbie, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. Great to have you in. See, I think Debbie's more with the Lindors rather than the Ferrero Rochers. Ah, I'm literally going to shall, shall, we, shall we have a sneaky uh, bit of Bollinger? <laughs> I can see Debbie, like, uh, sat the Prosecco, get me the Bollinger. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm literally good because you said Frere Rocher because you had a Frere Rocher because I have some like, I had a ro there was a rogue Frere Rocher and I went oh I'm having the, this I've got like a little pot of where like the chocolatey things are and uh, I think they're from Christmas uh, oh it was for my birthday actually I think it's my birthday I tell a lie it's my mum got me them but there's, there's a few Lindors in there as well from the Easter egg I still haven't opened I still haven't opened mine no he's he hasn't opened his Easter egg yet you said you'd do it this weekend though because we need to make space for some oil yeah we live life on the edge. <laughs> All right, we've got this mighty orange coming in next. As Liz said, it's 319 from Milan. I'm flying into Milan with these jet. Oh my gosh. It's 
trek to the city is... Oh, wow, really? Yeah, it, it, on the, I was on the coach and it was like 55 minutes and it was like 55 minutes at speed. Oh, wow. Is that why it's always so cheap to fly there? Yes. Okay. Better not tell that bug at Barton about that. No, definitely right. I might freak out again. Uh, right, so I was just trying to work out how to say so I don't get this wrong, because I feel like there's a lot of S's here. Uh, senseless dusts. <laughs> um, trains and planes is a new member. Oh, well, welcome. Thank you for joining. And good morning as well. Absolutely. Great to have uh, you on board. Yeah, thank you so much. I, I may get quicker at saying that. I feel like there's a lot of S's in a very short space there. <laughs> Well, this is poor little brain on a Friday morning. But, uh, yeah, welcome. You can use the emojis. Oh, God, I can use the emojis now. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Can I, can I ch hang on. Where are my emojis? This doesn't know how to get... Oh, there they are. Liz is pressing the right button for the emojis. Have you found them? I found the emojis. Okay. Right, hang on. Which is my favourite? What's my favourite? Do you know what? Colours. Right, someone type mods. Can time her out, please? <laughs> spam in the chat. I'm not spamming. Don't give her. Don't give her any. <laughs> so you got this jet two coming over. We do have another plane on finals. We've oh, got another knife that's pushed. Oh wow. Uh... I can't say I have, Rob. So I'd uh, have interest. Has anyone uh, had their phone stop working due to the operating uh, system uh, on the update becoming corrupted? No. Nope. Sounds a very. Sp Hopefully, it's a. Uh, what well, phone you got? Well, I was going to say if it's. Um, Sounds. If Android. it's Samsung or Apple, I would get into store and be like, "You need to fix this now." <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nigel on finals. Oh, one in, one out. Of course. From London. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We saw the uh, National Express coach going to London, didn't we? They're and probably. And, like, and we saw one coming from London to Manchester. We did. I, I assume they'll probably be around Birmingham way now, won't they? Yes, they will be, yeah. Oh. Depends what route it takes, though, doesn't it? Because like, uh, yeah, do it goes to Stoke first, doesn't it? Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah, it goes to Stoke, um, and then it... I, I think it does it not go to Birmingham, does it? I not? think it goes to Coventry. Uh, I remember, yeah, I remember yeah. getting it. I remember. It to be fair, to I've not been on the National Express one. I've been on the uh, Megabus one. Megabus, yeah. Megabus go by uh, Birmingham. I think it got, when I got it. I think it went to Coventry. So I, I can't remember. It might have probably changed by now. But uh, so we all know it's a bit of a, a grim bus journey down there. What is it? essentially a three-hour drive turns into about seven hours on a coach. Yeah. I haven't said that. It was jam packed, wasn't it? Oh, it was. I had a. I had a little look off and I just saw like sort of shadows and it was like <laughs> just looked at people like oh how how depressing. Beautiful light on that jet too there. Uh, Jenny, good morning. Fingers crossed that the car passes its MOT. Oh. And uh, I hope we can maybe keep you company whilst the cleaning's going on. I know I had like the radio on the other day when I. Uh, Is it like the most the nerve wracking day of the year? It's definitely one of them. Uh, that jet is out of Corfu, by the way. Excellent. Yeah, Liz. Yeah. MOT day, most nerve wracking day of the year. Uh, it's not something I have to worry about anymore. <laughs> right, it is. Oh, with that seat, yeah. Well, I think it's August, isn't it? That thing's yeah, due. Easy jets. 
lined up ready to go we do have the dash eight behind it coming in but yeah. let's concentrate on the departures probably still get the dash eight in to be honest it's going in that slowly uh, yeah um scary i can uh yeah so the jets are a bit more expensive i can understand though if, uh, if you're not well not you but they said the missus isn't a very good flyer doesn't like the 737 landings which i can totally understand so uh but easy jet are good, I like easy jet. Ah, oh, no Get problems nice, with easy jet. Nice airbus. Ah, oh, Susanna, thank you so much for the £10 super chat. So, get yourselves a jar of coffee. Who's that? Suzanne. Thank you so much, Suzanne. I do really appreciate that. I do. And I got a massive jar of coffee this week. He did, he did. So, Mahoosif, so that'll definitely go towards that. So thanks for that. Do appreciate it. We'll probably still go through this massive jar, like, quite quickly. Yeah, it will do, but it's... Uh... It's good, though. When was it that I cleaned out the... Uh, it was yesterday I cleaned out the flask, wasn't it? I emptied the flask. Sort of yesterday lunchtime-ish yeah oh like late morning wasn't it yeah because i put the things in the dishwasher and the coffee was still warm from the morning before uh that was uh that was impressive from stanley right so it looks like it's just come in awesome I'll just stick the brolly up in a minute. I can't see anything. Uh, Paul H, good morning. Good morning, sir. Great to have you in. Happy Friday. I might make a coffee, actually. You're going to make a coffee? Well, pour a coffee. <laughs> Big difference in that one. Liz. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, plug the kettle in uh, to the mud. <laughs> oh, you got, you got, there's a plug socket available. Oh, yeah, there is, actually. I'll take all the battery power. But like, yeah, we've finished streaming, but we've, we've got made a boiling water, uh, boiling water kettle, a boiling kettle of water. A boiling kettle of water? <laughs> a what? A what? A what? Say, say what? A kettle full of boiling water. There you go. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, it's a good job that I don't have a kettle to boil water with. <laughs> it's good to see you have got one of them boiling kettles. <laughs> I will say that. What well, the kettles do you boil? Oh, I don't think they do boil. I don't think they heat up. I don't think they actually boil this. <laughs> very, very, very different. Nah, we all know what I mean. I'm not sure we do. Do you know what it is? I'm being corrupted by all these adverts on the radio for boiling water taps. There you go. We were talking because we, there were a load of adverts yesterday on the radio, weren't they? For I feel them. like I'm being held up at like. Well, the, the issue that I had was like they were like going, "Oh, come to our." party where we'll show you all our thing where we'll have we'll have orders and champagne it was like you do know you're going to be paying for, well, through the roof for that just a bit uh no this nice looks like it's going to have a slot delay as well okay. uh there's a rhino behind that i think and Got there is rhino. a point on finals yep see uh rhino coming from uh brindisi brindisi take it easy in brindisi where is brindisi italy isn't it i don't know I don't know, actually. I'll be honest. I'll, 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 okay, well, I least... feel like it is. Please correct me. Quiz of the day. I just, just make me feel better, Laura. So just the weather over there is rubbish for a change, and it's nice here. Just showing you how to do it, Laura. That's all I'm going to say. You, do, you are in a weird little microclimate there, so uh, it's about time that we had some nice weather. So it's, uh, it's meant to be quite warm today. It's like 17, I think. Well, the the, the lady on the uh, on the, the news. Yeah, I was chuntering on about. Uh, I'm in a hot day, are you? No one cares. Well, exactly. Yeah, it has so, to... It's only like 21 degrees at tops. And that's in the south as well. I think it was in like, I think the previous hottest day of the year so far was in like West Sussex, I think it was or something. Of course it was the south. We don't get anything that nice in the north. I will say though, I've got two layers and a coat on today. Well, the sun's warming me up nicely though. And I've only got one pair of leggings Oh, wow. On today. Where's this? Where's... 
This one going again. That's up so early. Pretty easy, isn't it? The one coming in was from Brindisi, I apologise. Yeah, at Milan. They, them things are going out empty. It looks like it, doesn't it? It certainly does. That was up so early. Wowzers. That was crazy. Right. Well, David, enjoy the gifted membership. Well, I see it was from Les, where uh, doubly enjoy it. <laughs> Duh, yeah, Jenny Green, most nerve-wracking day of the year. Uh, I've always, I, it, it, this has served me quite well. Go in with the kind of attitude that you're going to fail. There's always something that you're going to fail on. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's always a nice surprise when it passes. Well, so. that's it, isn't it? Sometimes, like, fail the most ridiculous does, things. Does anyone else have this, right? So, literally, a month before the MOT goes in, I start hearing squeaks in the car, and it's like, it's in specific places, I like, I go, ooh, the suspension washers sound, don't, look, don't sound great, oh. Well, the brushes, I should say, not the uh, washers, the brushes. Um, yeah, I, I do that all the time, I'm really bad at it, and I start hearing things that just aren't there. You are really bad. I do feel, I, I do feel a lot of things that happen in the car, though. There you go, Matt's, Matt's uh, I'm a bit behind, it's probably landed at Heathrow by now, but his, uh, um, his Nigel uh, was over Westminster. Oh, I did not see that plane coming in there. Oh. It's an EasyJet just behind the uh, Nigel tail. Nigel. I was doing so well with the chat this morning. Oh no, there we go, up to date. Buzz is pushed. Okay, Matt was saying that the, the Nigel on the naughty step. Yeah. That sounds really funny. Wasn't due to depart till uh, 7.55, so I mean... Just, oh. They're just on it. Just want to clear the stand. Just want, we, want, we want rid of them. <laughs> Go back down south. Yeah, get stuffed. <laughs> Had enough of you up here. The Beast from the East is on at finals. I can see it. Uh, we A3. will just ignore everything else now. It is Beast time. We know we are here for the Beast. We are. We all shall pay homage to the Beast. Living it, living it, living it. Largest saying, don't talk to me about MOTs. Well, did you, did you can't pass your MOT, mate. <laughs> Uh, no worries, Stoney. Enjoy that lurker's lounge. Absolutely. They have a Ryanair that's about to line up, but we don't care. Wish that Nigel's out of the way, I won't lie. I'm going to get a snack when uh, the ambulance comes in. Well, after it comes in. Liz with the hard hitting facts here on Think Planes. I should go back to York today. I'm I'm quite hungry, so a bit of breakfast. Just remember, highlight the show is I think Tom's gonna be here. Oh yes he is. What time do you say he's gonna come down? Uh, probably about half eight now. Okay. Oh well, not long to go then. Will he say hello? Right now, it's going to come right in the shot now with the Emirates. Of Quite cool, is. actually. Three planes, one shot. <laughs> Nicely down there from the Emirates.
Look how that gold lights up in that light. It does change it all together. Yeah, it does. I've also got the uh, Cafe Pacific on finals from Hong Kong. Yeah, got that. I'm going to get this next departure though. Let it run into the shot though. Wowzers, look at how big that tail is. It's got a dodgy transponder, I can tell you that. How dare you speak about the beast like that, Liz? <laughs> right, Ryanair now going out. To Marrakesh. Jump on to the Cafe Pacific A350. Yeah, yeah the A380 is like down there, according to the uh, it's going to flight radar. <laughs> we're, not, we're not saying flight radar is having a mare today, however. <laughs> flight radar is having a mare today. I'm going to get my snack. Go for it. I can take my camera off charge, actually. I should be all right by now. Yeah, I would say so. Can I have that battery off of yes. you after? Because I need it for me, yeah. Squelchy, squelchy. Such a shame that BA's there. Nigel's just ruining it for everyone. Yeah. Just ruining the show for everyone, as always, Nigel. <laughs> Yay. As you can see in the background, we've got the Ooh. buzz about to cross over. Might have a caramel wafer bar. Go there. for it. Just give me a second, I'm just panning the plane. Just try to pass the battery and it's like... I don't hear what you said, to be honest. I thought you were saying, give me the battery. I didn't say that at all. Thank you. So we will see that Emirates A380 out a little bit later. Can't wait for that. Adrian's saying, uh, love Smarties, both planes on the chocolate. Hey, you can't go wrong, can you? Is that charging? It certainly is. Good. Squelch. Just a bit. Um... So, Chris, did you leave your phone and... Hang on, let me just leave your previous message. Did you leave your phone some on your phone and charger at work or something? I feel like I've missed a message or something. <laughs> right, I'm going to eat this caramel wafer, but lest my stomach just digest itself through hunger. I don't think that's going to happen. But hey. Totally is. Uh, we've got the Emirates going on to stand 12 now. You can see all the Donata trucks ready to uh, attack it. It's like a David Attenborough documentary. Uh, the uh, hyenas are ready to uh, 
attack a helpless lion in the Serengeti. Wow, what an image. That buzz has taken ages to cross over. Um, the, the cafe's been down for a good, oh, good two, three minutes. Uh, and only now is it crossing the runway. I'm just making sure I haven't missed the plane again. <laughs> Maybe they just stall, need to Maybe restart. Maybe they just buzz in. No, it's a good job planes don't work like that. So, have I told anyone that uh, we flew on that one? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I just love watching her face. I don't do it for any other reason, just to wind you up. And it works every time. If you didn't react, if you didn't react, I probably wouldn't do it. Just in your head, 24. Noted. I'm in your head, 24 7. Alright, I can get back to the chat now and such things. There is a plane on finals. It is the Swiss. Uh, it's an A320. A320. In from Zurich. Oh, I, see, I remember seeing that this morning. He remembers. Buzz is on the slowest taxi ever. They, I was they, not in a rush to leave. They they want to stay in Manchester. I don't blame them. Uh, Was well, radio? Good morning, Warren. Is that, that Warren Warren now. Warren, we got a new nickname for you. I can't remember what it was. Radar. So we, well, Simon had the golf on yesterday, and there was one of the like commentators, and I was like, that sounds like Warren. Yeah. I was like, he's got a new gig. <laughs> so I might call you Radar from now on. <laughs> Depends how we feel. Warren or Radar, it's kind of one and <laughs> the same. Oh, there. I felt good morning. Good morning there to the uh, other people who just passed us. Good morning. It's got a bit nippier, hasn't it? Well, it's because the sun's gone, yeah. All right, thanks, Liz. Liz with the science there. I mean, this is this is the person who just came out saying that the kettle's boiling, uh, literally the kettle is boiling. You do say that, though. No, not in the context you said. You said, like, water and kettle. No. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to uh, get that and quote it verbatim. Can't wait for that. I'll, I want to record this. I need to make some alterations to the camera now because it's just got so dark. Compared to what it was, it was light, beautiful light on there. Oh, no, yeah, there's quite darker clouds over there. I mean, it's not meant to rain today. No. I think it's Laura sending us the bad weather. From yeah, she's the sending, island. like, bad vibes. Laura, what's that about? We're just so nice to you. <laughs> kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, just to say thank you to people... What, what's what's the guy's actual name on the the common? Uh, Wayne. Wayne, yes, yeah, so, yeah, Dean, Wayne. It's radar, Dean. Come on, you watch enough golf to know who radar is. <laughs> What have we got in the background there? What are you? 
Oh, we got another dash eight. Oh, cheeky. Well, I can't, I can't go away from this beautiful EasyJet A320 <laughs> Neo in the uh, Europe car oh, livery. Uh, good morning, Gillian. Good morning. Fantastic to have you in this morning. This is Jack. We're going to Antalya. I think I said morning 22 times there. <laughs> um, so the Dash 8 coming out or coming in? Coming in. Coming in. I'm guessing it's for... Uh, I'm guessing it's the uh, Guernsey Arini. one. Yep. So Avanti Air operating on behalf of Arini again from Guernsey. Well, let's see if we can get it in for a bit. I'm gonna, I am going to go into the EasyJet when it spills up, but... Uh, Fingers crossed we can uh, just get the last moments of this. That BA better move soon. I don't like it. It's <laughs> doing my nutting. It's much easier to use flight radar on my phone. Well, I think we're going to be able to get these jet because this dash eight is about to touch down. Oh, that's good. Behind the Nige. <laughs> Just messing with you. <sighs> I'm so happy I'm flying with uh, that. I won't lie. Well, that should be fun. I'm hoping it's a full. Uh, at least as well. Don't want any Nigels on there. <laughs> Charged over. Oh, look, I can actually put the prop emoji. Oh, you've been using your proper emoji, Liz. I can't find it. I can't see. <laughs> oh, there, oh, no. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I can join in, everyone. She's part of the crew now. Part of the crew. <laughs> that Barry's... Barry's back. Oh, Barry just buzzed us. He's flying the runway heading. Barry, oh, you need clearance. Barry, Barry, you need to go the other way, mate. Seriously. There you go. <laughs> now he's still flying the runway heading. He's, he's gone off. There you go. Barry the daredevil. That was up quite early considering it's going all the way to Turkey. Got some teeth to collect. <laughs> the turkey variety. Oh, look, Liz can put the mighty orange in as well. I'm a bit behind on this. I'll get better. Got another 7.5 coming out. Mighty orange. Right, hang on. So it's a 7.5.7. We'll have to get a pencil emoji. There we go. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so amused. Simple mind. I know. Liz. <laughs> Thank you for creating this monster. I know. <laughs> I've just never joined myself because it's I, I, it's essentially like a a whole circle of thing and just like hear me have a have some money and give YouTube a cut. <laughs> And I don't normally type in the chat, so there's no point in me having the uh, like the emojis and things usually. But I'm enjoying it. One of us. One of us. <laughs> uh, Carlos is on the other side of the uh, runway. Of course he is. Don't like popping up here over this side, does he? He's a bit antisocial on this side. Have you seen the mud? Hello? you seen the mud? He'll get his poor little... Pro feet dirty. Yeah. Don't want that. He gets back and the missus shouts at him when he gets back to his tree. Nobody wants that. 
Like you drag him mud into the tree. <laughs> right, I want to see if I can get this one uh, a bit better this time because I didn't like the okay. uh, panel. Well, the light's back, so. Yeah. There we go. I think you're going to enjoy this one. If you don't, tough. After Palmer. Okay. Very nice. Good morning. And got company now lining up 737. Let's see where they're going. See how much longer they take to rotate as well. Uh, off to Vienna. It's not the one with the grey tail again, is it? Oh yeah, I should say I've um, I've named that jet too with the dark grey tail, grey, the grey lady. Okay. Because it kept popping up everywhere on uh, my social media feeds. Oh, it's a grey lady. Of course it is, coming back to Vienna. Oh, there's a certain legend who's just rocked up. <laughs> I can see the beautiful specimen of a man Dealing with the wilds of Southside, avoiding the um, the mud. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's not. I won't lie. From down the bottom, it looked like it had the grey tail. Oh, okay. Oh, he's just a beautiful, beautiful man. Do you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, Sam, good morning. Andrew, good morning. Oh, nice. Well, not, well, not nice, I suppose, that you had to divert in for them, but uh, Lofty 747 in Boston. Oh, that's all right. I oh, felt the spotters are out for that. I don't lie, it looks like a granny walking down there. Squelch, squelch. It's more squelching from him than there has been on this whole street up to now. Uh, I think this Jet 2 coming down is the grey tail. Okay, one, uh, Lee, good morning. Uh, Vision thing, morning, Paul. Saying the uh, uh, right engine was running a bit dirty. Yeah, they do on the 7.5s. Um, Always do something I've always noticed. It. Does anyone know why? I, I actually don't know. Think, Tom, do you know, like, when the 7.5s depart, the right engine always looks smoky and depart. Is there a reason for that? No. I, so, I always just notice it, though. Someone, just el someone else just asked him. It's just something I always notice. Yeah. Oh, look at his feet. Oh, look at him. It's only that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. See? And Tom knows. Are you going to say hello, Tom? Hello, Tom. Okay. That, 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 that's as much as we're going to probably <laughs> get from get Tom in? for a bit. But, uh, we're all there just to get Ender, aren't we? Pretty much. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. Yep, Grey Tail is coming on it's there. Also, the Grey Lady. Yeah, so basically the other day we've got KLM on finals as well. I, um, I think someone from Manchester posted that. And then I saw, um, I think Vienna Airport had shared a load of pictures from their spots. And it was there again. And obviously I forgot that they fly there. And then I think I saw it again. I was like, right, that thing's haunting me. So then I was like, right, grey lady it is. Call it grey goose. <laughs> you get a drink. Every time, you, every time you hear it, you have to do shots. Oh, gosh. Dean's probably on board with that. He likes vodka. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't start about that. 
yeah, proper fun. <laughs> yeah, Dean, you done any spirits on your trip? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't have any spirits. So, did you do shots? Yeah, I did, I did shots. <laughs> so, you did spirits then? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Is he in the chat? Please tell me he's in the chat. We love you, Dean. I, I love you, He was mate. a minute ago, so I'm assuming he's still there. He's, he's, gonna, he's just going to come in the chat with expletives. <laughs> we all about... Okay, we do have planes spilling up. Qatar's pinged up. Qatar is pinged up. Excellent. It was. I think Tom's just always bringing the goods. <laughs> Easy jet going at two dollar man. Right, let's concentrate on this Dallas. Oh, wow, everyone's coming out now. Of course they are. Dean said, I'm here, and then said, idiot. <laughs> I think that's... He well just done, Dean. That was, that was being really nice, actually. <laughs> Tom was just asking what happened. I was like, he just called me an idiot. He's not wrong. You can't argue with him on that, can you? It's probably, like, the most... The, the best thing he's ever said. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to pan the tail on this one for you, Liz. Oh, gee, thank you. Because I know this what does it for you. Oh, well, it's somewhat different, I suppose. Right, I'll record it as well. Right, people, I'm panning the tail. The bloke on Twitter who accuses me of panning the no, uh, front of the planes too much, well, this one's for him as well. There you go, Les, just for you. Thanks, I'm going to watch it back. Lufthansa are on finals. Coming in from Frankfurt. Yeah, I'm just going to grab that now. Sorry, that's why that panel was a little bit dodgy at the end. Uh, I was just looking down the bottom of the airfield. There it is. Bit of luftiness for you. Oh, yeah, look at that grey tail. Well, you very expertly kept it on the tail there. Well done. Thanks, Liz. I'll get a dodgy shot out of that. <laughs> it looks busy down there, I must say. Got a KLM lined up. Uh, Eurowings is behind that. Nigel, of course, is just still loitering down there. <laughs> and uh, right now. Still a good morning. And the Erlingus. Oh, it's Tui, not a KLM. I just saw the blue. The blue looked very Tui-ish. Uh, sorry, KLM-ish. This has come in? No, I thought there might have been one that was just, like, the night stop went out later summer. Oh, right, OK. does happen sometimes. Uh, Tui off to uh, Boa Vista. Oh, this one's going to be rotating late. Yes, I imagine it will. I need to sneeze. What's pollen in my nose? <laughs> Carlos is over here. About time. There we go. Morning, Herdy. Great to have you in, buddy. Nice, nah, just finally got out of the way. Whoop, whoop. Vision thing saying, get a pink Tom on the pans. Why? <laughs> He's useless. 
We're assuming he's eager. He's doing video as well. I'll take yeah. It. He's, uh, he's getting some footage as well for us, so... Uh, Obviously, we had our latest Think Tom video. Put Vision thing was saying, get put Tom on the pans. I'm just like, no, he's useless. <laughs> This thing, oh, that, you know what it's like with the cart for me. Yeah. This thing is just, I'll, I'll show you later how good it is. Morning, Bob. Bob, thanks for uh, posting in the Think Place Clubhouse. I did just see that before, I was just having a nosy. But, uh... TV basement, good morning. Oh, we are definitely Team Sony here today. Apart from me and the camera. Shh, shh. We're doing proper, we're doing proper footage here, Liz. <laughs> To the bottom. Eurowings heading back to Dusseldorf. Absolutely. Wow, there is loads down there. There is. Um, right now, behind them, we'll be going to Budapest. This sun stays out. Erling is for Dublin, obviously. Uh, Ryanair for Belfast. Erling is prop for Belfast. Well, that's like the Irish queue. It certainly is. Do tend to, tend to go out at the same time, though, don't they? They do. Oh wow, this is up early. Oh, this is going to be a uh, tripod and smack job. Ow, ow, ow. There you go. <laughs> I, did, I did. I kept it in shot. I just smacked my hand twice on the tripod. I'll take that. Really, not many after Dusseldorf this morning. Ellinger, safety 20, next out. Uh, Crafty Mermaid, good morning. I don't think, I think... you still got the same camera, haven't you, Tom? Of course he has. Yeah, there you go, vision thing was just asking. Yeah, he, he loves it. He loves an A7S3. Oh, yeah. Get to the church hall. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and a 1 to 400. Oh, he's happy as Larry. He's a from Geneva. We'll be next in. I've got Ryanair from Dublin just turning on to finals. Good moonlight, good morning. I think some people weren't expecting the really bad conditions Most. up here. <sighs> yeah, it's, uh, to be honest, what's mad is as well, even though how bad it is up here, it's actually, I don't think, as bad as down there. It's, be it's better than it has been. It's better than it has been. Mm. Yeah. It's a mad statement to think how bad it still is. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not perfect, but it, it's not too bad. So uh, I'll take this one all day long. Uh, I've got a Ryanair going out next. It's taking an intersection departure. Oh, Larry didn't want to pay for the full runway, so he's, uh, he's not getting it. Never does. Never does the cheapskate. An absolute. <laughs> No, sorry, I'll stop there. No, as, as we always say on it, look, you can't knock them. You, if you're getting a flight for 12 quid, 14, 15 quid. Yeah. I'm not arguing. I'm, I'm not arguing. 
Negroni yesterday for one pound seventy nine. Wow, so one seventy nine. Think, think Tom just came out with this. So flights to Girona from Stansted, one pound seventy nine. We're all sold out now, like. Yeah, I know, but like, pe yesterday. do you know what? They'll they'll all complain about it still. Ah, oh, it's a rip off. You have to pay for seats still. <laughs> no, just just chill. I mean, come Can on. I get a meal deal for that price. Got a reject coming in, but we're just going to stay on this right now. No, it's that's absolutely crazy. Um. Oh, Paul Cattler just saw you in the chat. Good morning, hope you're doing well. Uh, it's our vision thing. He said, uh, did he upgrade it, not change it? There you go. <laughs> oh. On in Magic Mike. Will be in a second. There we go. We're back. Well, I'm back. Get, let everyone else get through the ads. Oh, actually, hang on. No, hang on. Wait a minute. What failed or what didn't work then? Someone didn't plug the uh, the power into the uh, the streaming unit. Don't want to say who that idiot is. However, let's just for, for instance, let's just call him Simon. <laughs> so the one eating sausage roll. <laughs> Is your exposure right? It looks really bright on it. Oh, it, may, you know, it may have just gone. Uh, no, it's about right. Uh, okay. but I, will I, might, I think it, it might have been my... Uh... No, it's all right. I'm just going to knock it down a bit, though, because uh, it is. Welcome back to those on... Uh... Oh, those who aren't having to watch adverts. So, yeah, just tell me when everyone gets through, because I'll, I'll, I'll do the formal idiot apology. And there's like watching the lounge going, oh my God, they've gone down, they're going to miss our flight. Nadia. <laughs> Tragedy. God, I hope Tom gets that footage now. <laughs> oh, he's in Archie's, I've just seen. Oh, is he? Oh, all standards, mate. He's in, he's, no, he's in Archie's. Oh, that's standard. Uh, what have we got to go over yeah. Oh, there is an over the top, and it? oh, it's not there. There it is. But right, welcome back, those of you that. Uh, thank you for sticking around. Yeah. Right. Admission to make. There's a certain prat who, when he sets up, should um, put the power into a certain unit, and forgot to do it this morning, and that's why the stream went down. I. That, that prat might be called Simon. He tried blaming me when it first went. Yeah, I was just going to get Liz to take the blame, but I've, I've decided... Oh, I'll, we've got more back now. Simon forgot to plug some in. Yeah, I forgot to plug some in. That's why I went down. Apologies for that, everybody. It was my stupidity. Right, so you have to Venice. But we've not missed the guitar. The guitar's still there, so we're all good. I just wanted to scare everyone to think that we've gone tech again, like we did on <laughs> Sunday. Because um, I'm sadistic. Right, uh, got another Jet 2 coming on before the guitar? Quality stream with Simon plugs everything in. <laughs> oh. It was really funny, actually, that, because I saw all your messages of, uh-oh, who's pulled the plug and things. And she started waving and at me. And I was and like, then... tech, tech, oh, the plane's taking off. And, and I'm like going, why are you waving at me? I was, what? I'm just, I can't hear anything. I was like, we've gone off. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. No. Oh, dear. So, our Dreamliner... Sally Darrell, Think Pratt. <laughs> Think Pratt, I'll take that one. Think Muppet also <laughs> applies. All the above, so. I agree with Tom, all of the above. Uh, Jet Sea, we're going to Malaga. Oh, H will be happy. He's never happy, that lad. Oh. Never. And you can see the uh, guitar lining up behind it. I know, right, Sarah? 
He was like, where, where's, where even is the wire? Have you plugged? I was like, yes, I've plugged it in. I did my bit. She did it. The elastic band was ready you know, to do it. Do you know what? Do you know what? Liz only does one thing on the setting up. Let's be honest. She does the wires. You plug the wires in. I do the wires. You... I do the microphones. Right. So I, I do the camera. I do all the wires to the uh, camera, the HDMIs. I do the streaming unit. I plug all the units in. Um, I set I the tripods. Well, I set the tripods up. The tripods I couldn't do. So the tripods are fine, fiddly. <laughs> And then Muggins here starts to stream up. I, I, I'm sorry, I think this is a little bit disproportionate. I think I'd do too much. No winglets on that uh, 737, which, let's be honest, looks better. Oh, don't worry, Ando, tell you if you want to. He said he will probably won't get a chance to uh, pop in as he's taxiing out because he's, he's filming it. Well, that's not good enough. <laughs> Where, where are you sat in there? Are you on uh, A by any chance? One sec. Yeah. Qatar going. I'll, I'll, I'll take my tech issue that I caused, mm -hmm. even though you should really be doing that. But I'll say that my pan was good enough to make up for that there. Okay. So, win-win. Okay. Done. Good morning. And uh, Mike just sent the uh, look size pinged up. It certainly has. Just saw that. Thanks, Mike. Also got the Logan R, uh, Logan Air ATR uh, down at the bottom. The Logan R? The Logan R. I just abbreviated it because I just think we're wasting too many words on Logan Air. I'd agree. Just... just welcome people on it welcome to Logan R and throw a uh, bit of shortbread or whatever at them uh, it's the Ryanair motto <laughs> if you can throw it uh, party plane on the way out next whoop whoop going to a beat bar you could not pay me to go on the, this plane during the summer season you could, honestly you, you couldn't pay me any money to do that <laughs> Yeah, I bet. It's, uh, it's not fun at all, trust me. <laughs> um, right, so end the side row. He's on our side on row 13. Right, I'm just going to say I'm going to pan that. I'm not. Cause I'm... Is that just before the second door? Yeah. After? I think it's just before, isn't it? Yeah. Couldn't you get a proper seat at the front ender? Can you afford it? I heard you making like. <laughs> so we failed now. to see his phone. Uh, Loki not working. Good morning. I know. So, I mean, he usually does plug everything in. I'll give him that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm useless. I was just too excited about the buggy this morning. I was, wasn't I? Probably. Good looking, Max, there. Funny actually that there's a row 13 though on the uh, thing. There's obviously a lot that they just skip the row 13. Alright, I just need to do something for this ATR because I know it's going to rotate stupidly early. Yeah. Change my panning handle. Right. Oh wow, okay. That's a bit random. Right, I'm just experimenting with uh, a panning position here, so bear with me on this one. It could be a dodgy pan, it could be a good one. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, okay. I, I just need to learn some new muscle memory on that one, but uh, that one works. Cool. Excellent. Simon's just learned something today. That was off to Inverness. Her next arrival is the uh, EasyJet in from Malaga. Excellent. Yeah, I think, I think I've told this story before, but I do remember checking to when I think it was on Monaco and I was like yeah you're in like 13 A and B they're like what? I was like yeah yeah the, the, I was like it's a window the one next to it row 13 I'm like yeah but it's row, like oh oh something bad will happen I said that row of the plane isn't just going to drop out of the plane you'll be fine and nice actually went it's a Boeing on, the plug well, might go on it, it. <laughs> they didn't have Boeing's did they Anyway, I didn't hear about any uh, row 13 dropping out of the monarch plane, so uh, I think uh, I think everything was fine in the end. One sec, just lowering that. We've got Ops Car doing a runway inspection. And we all know I love an Ops Car pan more than anybody else. Go on, lad. Power! <laughs> Tell you what, Tom, this is this is uh, louder than an A330 taking off. <laughs> wouldn't call that the whisper car, would they? No, they wouldn't. Making a fair old racket there. You know, I think everyone on the stream knows I love a good ops car pan. How can you not? Yeah, that sign's doing my nutting. Yeah. Do you know what? This is the perfect point, though. It's like the Goldilocks point. You know, you get enough rotating early to get past the tower here. Yeah. For streaming, I think I, if I was just doing video, I'd be further down. You'd never come over here for pictures or anything. Would you? You'd have been like, I'd have been right down the thing. Way. Yeah, exactly. That's where I go if I was just doing video. Yeah. The streaming, though, it's just it's, it just does it. If you know what I mean. I will say, I know it's like I, I think I think it's quite good, but uh, I. You know, a few years ago, you know, probably just before COVID, you'd never see, you know, the only people I would ever see with uh, tripods out here was you. Um, and then, you know, the bloke who does the dual tripod head, you know, like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a dead nice guy. Uh, and, of course, two, three left aviation. Only people I'd ever see with um, tripods down here. And now it just seems like ev ev everyone else has just literally got um, a thing. And I don't you know, is it a move away from photos to video? I'm not sure it is. I see a lot of people doing the photos with the video tripod as well. Yeah, more people, as you say, you know, it's more accessible, isn't it? And I think, you know, live streaming has brought a lot more uh, people out, which is it's a good thing. I'm, I'm all for it. Um, scary so saying went on a uh, Thomas Cook A330 once out of missing winglet. <laughs> Caused oh. a bit of chaos. <laughs> I can yeah, imagine. Just get, just get a bit, just, just do it, Tom. Get a bit of duct tape out. I've so, seen that. I've seen, was that a virgin one? There's someone if it did yeah it would have been that one that probably but yeah, yeah i think there's a bit i literally saw a guy with like a bucket under the wing and then just like got the tape out and i was like okay he was wind, he was winding the, the head onto his camera big time so i would do it that way all right easy jet to milan That's warming up really nicely now. It's going to be a nice day. So I got my hood pulled down so I can actually see something on the chat. I mean, I know I said it when the show started up and everything, but oh my goodness, I've missed just doing shows from down this part, spot. Oh. Ingles made it to the beach. He's got a stray in one hand, tablet in the other. Michael, just need to apologise. Um, we did try our best to get going before. It's, um, it's we don't know how we missed you, to be honest. Like to at least get like um... a shot because we were looking. At, I was just saying we'll just get you an iPhone thing for you. You know, uh, we, you know, setting up this new buggy just takes a little bit longer at the moment. It's not we haven't got it down to a T. We've knocked it down from like fifteen minutes to about seven or eight minutes, and I think we could get it down to about four or five, couldn't we? I'd say so. So, um, yeah. So, apologies, mate, but hope you had a fantastic flight, and uh, I'm surprised you didn't get chucked off the flight for uh, bringing that KFC on board. We all <laughs> needed it.
I just got the uh, arrival, which is the Welling. I can see en yellow engines. Has it touched? Oh, hang on, there we go. Hang on. Uh, yes. Yeah. Welling from Barcelona. Hello, my name is Manuel from Barcelona. Oh dear. Uh, EasyJet from Belfast will be next in. Oh, we've got a line-up of seven threes. It, looks, it actually looks quite nice. Right now, Boeing should advertise that. Right now, after Barcelona next. Tom, I, I mentioned this on the stream earlier. Um, did you see Boeing's post on Instagram yesterday? No. Well worth a, a nosy. So they put... I'll just get this one out and then I'll go into it. So yeah, so Boeing did this post on Instagram, and they 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 referenced the de you know after the plug incident they did that reflective day stuff, which they yeah exactly which is a massive horrible PR uh, incident you know uh, it's really gone wrong and they were like showing oh here at Boeing we reflect on ourselves and all this kind of nonsense and the comments on there are just gold. If you've got a bit of time later, go on there. Have a, go on there because people are not taking this. And like I said, I said earlier, the, whoever did that post, they want sacking because they've really not read the room. And if that's Boeing's take on it, I'm really worried about Boeing. <laughs> I won't lie. Um, I think you know we, we've spoken about uh, on the stream in the past where Boeing are, and I still don't think they have a real good plan about what they're doing going forward. And if they're thinking this is going to kind of placate everyone, it's not going to. We're with. People have had enough of it. I will add, though, um, and I know Dean's a big advocate of this, so you know, head, you know, shout out to him, like the media every time they just there's a summit with a Boeing that's like 25 years old and they're sticking it on like there's been an incident with it and they're making out like it's their fault no just you need to calm down in regard to that there are some things Boeing are accountable for but it's not that stuff no yeah there you go there he is oh legend oh, God, this looks, this looks he's there you go Tom I'll show you as well oh, yes. get in there Michael <laughs> I was saying we will be doing a, a, um, a alcoholic beverage session with you, sir. Has, has anybody looked more relaxed watching a thing playing stream? Oh, there you go, there's a test. That's there you go. A task for everybody. <laughs> there's a task. Tom, after this, do you want to ask the question that you were going to ask? Yeah. I'll, I'll get you on the mic. I'll give you the mic and you can start. All right, let me catch up with the mornings and things. Um... Go for it, mate. Well, there's no prizes because we're all cheap. No, no, no. Tom's cheap. We don't do prizes. <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a question for people to reply in the chat with, which is, what is the only Ryanair subsidiary not to have a flag next to the reg on the fuselage? I, I, so he, he asked this when we went down, and I got it right because I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a legend on the QT. <laughs> All right, well, I'll check the chat for answers in a moment. Uh, Stephen, good morning. Uh, Gary's just sent the uh, uh, his daughter Kate, uh, Katie, sorry, uh, is on the uh, flight to Alicante uh, with Ryanair due to depart at nine. 
Um, <laughs> celebrating her 30th birthday. Hey, party happy, plane. Whoop, whoop. Happy birthday. I'll uh, keep an eye out for that one. Uh, you should have a fantastic time over there. D- Dwayne, good morning. Dwayne, how many months have you been a member for? We are going to do you a shout out. Yes, because uh, I know that uh, you, you rely on the gifted memberships. Totally. Uh, well, it's because totally he's young, isn't he? Yeah, he's absolutely. To the thing, um, so. But we love that you can tune in when you can and things. So, yeah, tell yeah us let out. us know any months and Simon will do his. Uh, his you know what's going to happen when How many it. month crew? looks at right well sorry i need to change the uh, panning position again <laughs> apologies everybody i'll stick it on the tower for a minute this will work it's just a pain in the proverbial backside to do if you get me right and i will record this one as well we'll have competition between oh. me and tom so you can get the smoothest <laughs> 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 I'll take that. Yeah, I, I did nothing wrong. Good morning, welcome, and I uh, hope you enjoy your flight on Thursday. Great. Oh, he's looking for answers. Look at him. He's like a. Uh, so Matt's put Ryanair UK. Question marks. I, I, I didn't hear what the actual exact question was, so I don't know what the uh, what answer I'm actually looking for. <laughs> Um, We've almost had a full set of answers. Louder Irish. Oh. UK be my chosen guess. Um, I thought that was a good part of an answer, then I just realised it was Mike saying that the Ryanair's good to bring easy. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike doesn't stuff around for questions like this. He's just like going, I'm going to tell you what plane's going out. Don't miss the Ethiopian. Right, we're good today with that, mate. Oh, there goes. Matt got it there with the uh, UK doesn't have requirement um, to support the flag. Well, well there's, the there's another answer to that as well. Reg. There is another answer to that. <laughs> I, probably best I say that one, isn't it? Well done, though, Matt. Matt, big shout out. Which Matt is it? Matt, Matt. Oh, Mr. Cherry? Of course it is. There we go. Whoop, whoop. The man Jerry of, in the house. The fountain of all knowledge. I just, I just have to check if there was another Matt, because every time I do say it, it's like Matt... If I went, it was Matt Cherry, he you, you, you turn Cherry. around and go, no, oh, it's not that Matt. Uh, Dwayne says, I think it was seven or eight, you choose. We'll go for eight, because it sounds better. So, okay. wait a minute, let's get this. We'll dedicate this Ryanair to you, because you love a Ryanair. So, Dwayne... Off to Harnia. Dwayne, you are officially a member of the... Eat my crew! Fucking heck. Right. <laughs> That's what I do. So, like, so, so, Tom's, like, looking at me going, what the hell are you doing, you absolute tool? So... Do that anyway, yeah, you do. So, like, people have milestones. So, do you know, like, every time they renew the membership, you get, you get a thing. And what, I, I, I don't think people make enough of it. You know, people are spending the hard-earned money... And if I sound like an idiot for like 10 or 12 times during each stream, I'm not bothered. So I, I like doing it and I think it's, uh, it's something a little bit different. Doing a Mr. T impression really badly. It's, uh, it's special, so yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Tom really looked at me so quizzically, like, what the hell? 
I think you need to explain the real reason why the flag isn't on the Ryanair UK fleet. Hi. And I'll let you do that. Yeah. So apparently, a certain uh, chief executive of a certain company who owns Ryanair <laughs> um, found out that the flags were put on there, uh, on those, on the planes initially, weren't they? Because they were on there initially. Yeah. The first one was put on there initially and uh, saw that it was done and then demanded that they be torn off. He wasn't happy because, remember, Brexit means Brexit for him and he doesn't like it. Hi there. Morning. Hello there, mate. Good it. <laughs> but, uh, yes, that, that, that did happen. That, that, I can assure you that happened. So, yeah, there's, there's, as you were rightfully say, um, there is that reason, but the main reason is though Larry didn't like it. Anyway. <laughs> I think all the Rook fleet are all the oldest 737s. Yeah, exactly, there you go. So Tom just said that, why do you think we've got all the oldest 737, the Rooks? He's just making a point. Uh, Alan is also my daughter's on the jet to to the, to the rough at nine o'clock. Oh, excellent. Don't know where that is. Uh, but celebrating a birthday in advance. There's a lot of birthdays going on. Um, it's the uh, bank holiday weekend effect again. I know. Apparently on the wrong side of the wave though. But well, we'll get the departure. That I can promise you, even if I don't maybe know where it is. <laughs> I'll just go. I'll just roll with it. It's fine. That's <laughs> what we did most of the time anyway. Got a biz jet coming out. The Gulf Stream. Is it? I'll have a look. Cheers, Mike. The um, Turkish Streamliners over London. London. It is, yeah, Gulf Stream, Gulf Stream 550. It's Gulf Stream because it's got oval windows. I was just, I was put, so I was tentative with that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not Harrison when it comes to Viz Jets, you know what I mean? But I, I have a yeah, couple of basic. The reg from here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but there's like, there's some things that I can just like go, okay, I can tell it's it we're in the ballpark there. Yeah, so. There's also a PC12. Oh, well, I love a PC12. Mm. You like one particular reg, that's one particular PC12, don't you? Yeah, there is one that I will just <laughs> remain quiet on. But, um, <laughs> But I do like I, I like the lights on a PC12. Yeah, they're cool. Aren't they? they are cool. They they just like they bring something a bit different. You know, like on a really, do you know those? You know, when we have the really bad weather here, and like you know, you struggle to pick the plane lights out as they're coming into you. But the PC12, you see them from out. Yeah, exactly. They're just everywhere. So um, yeah, they, they get a little bit of love for me from that. Plus, uh, we know the toilet facilities on there. Not great. They're uh, not great. You have to open this like cabin. Morning, Darren. Morning, Darren. Great to uh, have you in, mate. So you have to open this like side cabinet towards the back of the uh, the plane, and you kind the of front, front. Sorry, sorry, and uh, you basically in front of everyone. Well, you open the door. One of the bits of the door blocks off the cockpit, and then the other bit of the door blocks off the cabin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice. And so it's imagine bit, if... it's, it's a squatting. Squat and pray situation if you're on a plane, to be honest. But the thing is, imagine if you were like on the beers the night before. <laughs> exactly. So, oh, great yeah, I, I'm yeah. not sure it's the best thing, but you know, if you need to, you, it, the facility is there. The facility is there. No, it's looking good, this. It's a very regal looking Gulf Stream, isn't it? It, it certainly is. They've, they, they've gone for that conservative kind of, okay, I've got money, but I don't want to tell you that I've got money. Mm, it looks like one of those, like, US political party private jets, doesn't it? A little oh, bit. yeah. It's got that vibe about it. Oh, we're not going to stick politics in the chat. No. D don't give people the opportunity to do that, Tom. <laughs> We've learnt the hard way. We, we, That's why I said generically. Yeah, watch, <laughs> we? We've learnt the hard way, haven't we, Liz, about politics on the stream. It's the, uh, it's the thing that gets everyone. Is Jet from Faro's on finals? It certainly is. Uh, I'm going to just have a look at the beast and see where we are with that. We've got the Donata catering truck on there. Um, doing what it does well. So I'm just like checking out my... Uh... Good. Well, I, I put it in a crop mode. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, you know, cropping. So it's about 900 mil this. Nice. So uh, you can get right in. You can see the rear cargo. with. Uh, they are busy loading some stuff on there. It's nice with the tower in the background, the old tower. I like that old tower. That's it. So that's Esther. She's just loading everyone on there right now. <laughs> All right, let's get this Gulf Stream. Do you know where it's going, Liz, or is it 
not it's on. not on. It's, it's done in NA. It's going to not applicable. It's probably it's probably off to the states then, knowing that our oh, town's going to get some uh, info. This one's going. Like, I'm just uh, Think Tom's really getting into the streaming, my life. I can't actually stay in bed next time. Easy. <laughs> I don't, think that? It's, I don't think it's a real place. It's a made-up place. Made up. Oh, okay. ZZF. Let's put that in flight radar, Liz. ZZF. It's not a flight radar. Yeah. They're off to Narnia. Yep. Off they to see the Land of Witch and the Wardrobe. Yeah, well, look, we're, we're, they love a right smoky engineer at the moment. I'm, I'm gonna have to... seven fives, like I say, every time that right engine's always smoking. I do like the Gulf Stream setup because the flaps, all the mechanisms for the flaps, all the flap motors and stuff, are all hidden inside right, the you, wing. You, you, you tell the people that. You tell the beautiful people. Go on. Why do you like the Gulf Stream? They're just amazing, aren't they? <laughs> no, but the uh, all the flap mechanisms. Got an arrival. All, most other aircraft where they have like boat fairings underneath. You see all the little pods that are underneath the wings. You might be able to see it on the EasyJet now. There's three on the EasyJet on either wing. Yep. There's absolutely none on the Gulfstream because they've hidden it because the wing is fat enough for them to hide the mechanisms within the, the, uh, the width of the wing. So This is why we need Tom on the stream more often. This is this is the level that we want to go to. <laughs> this is it. I love this. Like I, I won't like I learned so much off Tom, so watch like, So it's a really well designed plane. It's about, that's what I mean. They do break quite often, but the, it means they're very efficient. Yeah, well, the, the efficiency so, does count, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, if you're talking about all round kind of and stuff. It also helps with speed for obvious reasons. Well, I mean, them things in the cruise are quite unbelievable, aren't they? Yeah, that'd be why, or at least one of the reasons why. Excellent. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> Got a bit of uh, information. From Tom. Bits on the jet, that's what we're talking about. So yeah, the, so you know, you've, so you're looking at the wing, and underneath the wing, you can see the big orangey bits, and that's what Tom's Apart up from the engines, obviously. They're yeah, because bits. yeah, that, that's a very ve that's the that's the huge <laughs> orangey bit, but there's not three engines on, no, on the true. wing, so I'll implicate myself with that answer on that one. Because I tell you what, that'd be an awesome plane. That. I say, if anyone at Airbus actually wants to put on another four engines on an A319, then please be my guest. <laughs> I'll be felt felt in that, wouldn't it? <laughs> 319 with four engines. Oh, it, oh no, we'll stick six on. That's just like, uh, we'll, do, we'll do six. Let's not mess around. No 380 issues anymore. The easy jet AM225. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They'll be like, uh, what do you call it? Imagine if they had those issues, the fan blade issues with them. They'd be there for like two months replacing them. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Tom is the fountain of all night. <laughs> Tom, as well, like, this is a thing that like people don't know as well. Sorry, Liz, you, I know you're behind the chat, but you just... I'm not behind. I'm, I'm just waiting to read out, that's all. Okay, well, you do your thing. Cause I'll do no, it. no, carry on. So, Tom, like, you you know that, like, before we, I st we started doing the stream and stuff like that, I tried to do video quite a, a year before, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Would you like to tell people how long my stint of doing video lasted? Four days. Um, it was about four days. <laughs> it was about two. <laughs> Oh, I'm so bad. I was just thinking before, you know, like when I was planning some of them planes doing departure stuff. Like we were up, we were up Moss Lane, weren't we? And uh, we did one session here, didn't we? And then one up there. We did. And honestly, it was the worst thing ever. I just went at the end of it. I'm not doing this anymore. I'll just stick to photography. Photography's well good. <laughs> Honestly, it was so criminal. And, like, I think we've spoken about this on the stream before. Like, Liz, the time Liz has come out with me, and I think, you know, we had the 747, uh, the Atlas going out, and I had a temper tantrum because uh, I just couldn't pan anything at the time and stuff like that. <coughs> um, I got an amazing photo, though, of it, so I'm like, oh, I'll That's take that. Matters. That's all that matters. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. Go on, Liz. As I say, if I see faster, um, I would love for uh, the Think Planes corporate jack, but it has to be the Gulfstream 650, and that was 550. Because it looks pretty inside. I have watched Steve. I have watched all of Steve's TikToks no, she, she from the me, jet business, right? And I have that. picked. I know what I want to fly in, and I know what I do not want to fly in. Assessment citation. Thank you very much. Sorted then. <laughs> Get told. <coughs> right. I better check all the wires, right? Because I don't want anything untoward happening. Um, the uh, Pilatus is coming out. Uh, Mike says it's yeah, going to good. Guernsey. Uh, Callum, good morning. 
I can get a word in now. Yes, that's another word for it. <coughs> a what? Oh, right, I didn't realise you were looking over my shoulder. I was going to say, uh, good morning, Mr Pingu. Hey, David, great to have you in. Actually, let's get this. Whilst well, I've got a minute, I can charge everything up. Da, 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 da. I live in a world of wires. Cheers. <coughs> Waiting for this uh, this mint to cure me. I did get the notification before, to be fair, that the pollen was high today. Cheers. Oh, you would explain a lot. It's not been that bad. Right, that's fine. I luckily remember to take my antihistamine and uh, use my nasal spray control, this morning. Not like last time. So if you do need one, I have got them. Oh, she's, she's oh, I've the... taken it this morning. Oh, good. I've got mints now. When we were at Paula's, we discovered that a mint can help. Excellent. Uh, we've got the... Uh, Avanti. Avanti. Uh, I'm not going to be able to put it in the right position, so I'm just going to do half a pan on this one. Cause... What would you rather fly on to Kern- Kernsey? Guernsey. The, uh, the Dash 8 or the Pilatus? Oh, Pilatus. <laughs> Pilatus all day <laughs> Just make sure you go to the toilet first. Oh, I can... Look, let... Wait, wait a minute. This one could be doable. No, I'm going to slam my hand. There we go. <laughs> I'm not even bothered. I, mean, I don't know whether the Pilatus has what the dash has. I can't remember the 22 or 54 vibration inducing motors to counteract the vibration of the engines like the dash does. Uh, but if it didn't have those, then it would literally vibrate itself to pieces while flying. Yeah. So for that reason alone, I would not fly on the dash. There you go. So. Uh... Well, I bet you didn't think you were going to learn that one today, did you, everyone? <laughs> Well, they do call it the bone shaker for a reason, don't they? So, um, it's... Uh, no, I, I, I'm i just a pc 12 holic but what I was going to say is, Liz, you know me, mm-hmm. I can hold it in with the best of them. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm stood out here for seven, eight, you know, nine hours. I can hold it in. There we go. There's yeah, a, there's... imagine saying wakey-wakey. <laughs> I think you were changing the... Uh... I was charging... I was charging just, something. I was just charging everything. Oh, Dave's back. Had banana muffins have just gone into the oven. Oh. What film is he going to watch? Then? Well, yeah, film at 11. What film is it? Oh, do you know what? Because I had some bananas left. I was thinking, well, I think I've left them too long now. Oh, no. I, I think they're kind of beyond banana bread at this point. I think they're more just, I think they need to go into the bin. <laughs> oh, I like Why your banana does bread. Simon live in a world of wires? Because I have to, because I'm a streamer. It's literally. <laughs> I've never had so many wires in all my life until I started streaming. Uh, it's ridiculous. And that's a good wire. My jolt, going back to Heathrow. Yep. And we've got the KLM behind that. Well, I can see Roy's still around. Legend. He loves a bit of KLM action. Touch pride. Orangey boom. <laughs> There's me just thinking of alcohol again. There you go. I just miss... I want bagels and beans to come over here. Well, that was nice of the BA to uh, actually rotate at a point that meant I didn't bang my hand on the tripod. So thank you for uh, BA for that. It's always a plus. It's always a plus. <laughs> JD, good morning. I t- it has. Tom, did you hear that we've been transferred on our uh, BA flights to DAT? Oh, very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for this. I won't lie, I'm, I'm looking forward to this now. Um, Rather than generic BA flight, we will be flying. Yes. <laughs> Who dat? Well, that's it. And you really like... do need a, a, a short, I think, that says that. Okay. Um, you board on the boarding short. I'm going to say something. I'll probably get arrested. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, and he's just saying about like what could go wrong if the uh, the toilets, you know, just like a bit of a curtain. Well, I think it's a bit of a door, isn't it? Oh wow. So... That made that go up very steep. So it started, it rotated, and then it just like the nose just came up quite high. Very nice, anyway. I'll take that. I wasn't expecting that either. But yeah, I wonder if any Pilatuses have ever had to uh, declare an emergency because of uh, a toilet, toilet situation. 
<laughs> and do you know what? I bet you, I bet you there has been an incident of that. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Well, there have uh, been, there have been, there have been people who declared over uh, toilets. Well, exactly. If it's like right behind you, I feel like the crest, quite, uh, immediate uh, diversion. It's not a, uh, <laughs> Factor. Yeah. You can't have like maybe 250 people all holding it in for the next six hours of their lives. It'd be so. nice if they did. Well, it would be. Uh, uh, Julia Flights, good morning. Great to have you on. I will, do you know what? I'm going to make, because I know this is um, an issue that a lot of people like wheelchair, people who use wheelchairs have, is that they actually do have to hold it in for the flight because there's mm-hmm. a lot of the time there's no ability for them to be able to go to the toilets on a plane but it's also the issue with colostomy bags as well isn't it they're mm. going into it it's very deep there but uh what you call you know people have to sit down and they have to hold the bag with them for a very long periods of time which must be very uncomfortable mm. but sorry we'll move away from that because uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're eating your breakfast i, I apologize requirement but yeah. on every ryanair flight there is actually a wheelchair on board yes there you go. i don't know what it's used for whether it's emergency use only or whether it's to help people go to the toilet or not, I really don't know. I'm not an expert on that field, but there is a wheelchair on board. So Tom's homework is to find out. Yeah. Mm, I shall ask some of the crew. There you go. He's, he's no, what I was going to say is, you remember a few years ago we had the uh, British Airways uh, Dreamliner divert into Manchester because of remember the hot water situation on board. Yeah. I've slept since then, Simon. Yeah. They. Uh, well, so, some of us are actually out here waiting for the departure, <laughs> mate. Unlike some who are just lazing around. Um, Etihad's on the move. Excellent. Well, I'll look forward to that. Um, so, yeah, we had a uh, 787-9 Dreamliner uh, that diverted into Manchester because they didn't have any hot water on board. So, you know, that small things, but... Um, Check two's off to Tenerife. It's off to see... Oh, they're off to see Ender later. That was rough as hell. And you know what? I'm going to admit it. I bottled it because Tom was watching. And the fact that you had the microphone in your left hand. Oh, that had nothing to do with it. Like I'd, I'd probably do that quite often. I've, yeah. I've usually got something... I'm usually doing... What people don't realise is, like, usually when we're do, you know, streaming, I'm usually probably doing something at the same time as mm. watching the planes pass, so that's not an excuse. I just bottled it because the pressure of you, Tom. <laughs> Two to Paphos next out. I've Still kept on the nose. Where's it going, Liz? Paphos. I thought you were going to say I've said Pathos wrong then. Oh, no, no. So I'm the one that can say a lot of these places, right? Like I said, Harnia before. Barcelona. I do German, I can't speak Spanish, so I'm not going to try and... I make a point of saying chorizo. I know. Or something like that. That PC-12. Whoa! It's going on quite well. I suppose it's actually a... Needs full length. PC-12 definitely needs to take full length here. This one's going to go a little bit longer than the others. I just saw that Magic Mike's got to take his wife's car for an MOT. Clearly today is a popular MOT day. Oh, Mike. Worst day of the year, as we always say. We said this earlier. MOT day. Nobody likes it. Not bad or horrendous, isn't it? I, I just don't feel it. Right, PC12. Right, let's see if this new panning position works out for me on this one because this thing's going to go up early. Luckily. Oh, right. I know that it'll probably uh, need to uh, have the uh, two minutes dissipate. But uh... yes, when David's saying about the film at 11, it's because it's so we can. That's for the supper report. Ah, okay. <laughs> we need to know these things. The in, like the motion picture supper report. <laughs> in 4K. Maybe. Any go? Oh, r- rave review there. That's all right. <laughs> all right. But it's, it's not a, like an action film. It's, it's like a docu film. Okay. So it's... It, it's films for intelligent people, not like you. There you go. Sorted that one out. Oh, no, it, had, it had a star studied cast in it, so. It, was, uh, it had Gillian Anderson that played uh, Emily Maitland, so that's just a. 
Uh, El Amigo, good morning. I tell you what, this Pilatus is uh, he's having a good old wait. Oh, we're rolling, we're rolling, finally, people. And I can see the Etihad in the old livery. I know. Right, this is. I need to just. Oh, wow, it's up already. Oh, even in this position, I think uh, I'm going to struggle. And I've, and I've just realised I'm at 600 mil. Right, let's just go out, back out, let's zoom out. <laughs> Honestly, I'll, I'll kill myself if I do that. Look at that. Can't even see it. That For thing. That person, it almost looks like a Spitfire. It does, doesn't it? That's another reason why I like it then. It's going to go. Wakes the person in the toilet, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's literally, so that's hit the actual vertical point of this tripod. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I kind of knew that was going to happen, but hey, hey. I'm not bothering with that anymore. Like, if that was any other plane, I think we would have got the full departure on that one because I had it in a really good position, the, um, the camera. Uh, but hey, hey. So, uh, Spring, you were saying a wheelchair user, um, and it's the aisle chair, and it is used to assist uh, people to go to the toilet. Is that every airline? Because I have heard stories of people that they can't. So I'm assuming this may be an airline-specific thing, mm. and that some do and some don't. You would have thought it would have been mandatory, though, for the Disability Act, though. Oh, you think, wouldn't you? Um, I, I've just, I've heard so. However, maybe, I would say maybe it's a case of people don't know. If maybe they do all have it, but they don't know, but then they should be told, especially on long flights, they should be told. I don't know. Uh, I'm not an expert in this. No, there we go. Maybe oh, we should sorry. get uh, the big cheese to tell us. Well, that's true. Yeah, uh, obviously, Asta does work uh, at the airport, uh, assisting assisting uh, people. Uh, on and off aircraft around the airport and things. So, so we're going to ask her, and if she doesn't know, then we're just going like, to shout her out the stream and just embarrass her. <laughs> right, I think I need a bit of exposure comp there. Uh, easy jet to Geneva. Very dark of, all of a sudden. You know, typical when this beautiful Etihad 777-300 in the old livery. It's not uh, retro, Simon, no. It's not retro, mate. It's uh, some. A lot of people say it's a retro, but it's not retro. Um... It's yeah. just the outgoing livery, isn't it? It's it's an outgoing livery. You know, it's. Uh, every, we, we, I think the whole world loves this notion of uh, retros, but this is not a retro. Still got it on quite a bit of the fleet on the triple seven fleet. I mean, they were. I think it, I think it was twenty nineteen where they were saying they were going to change it and get clear the fleet with it. And I think COVID just hit them and went no, nah, because remember they had financial mega financial difficulty just even going into. Um, COVID and they just didn't have any money actually to uh, do this so uh, that's why we still have I think the better of the two liveries well hey I am uh, Mr Pingu David don't worry about it it's fine uh, we have an EasyJet it's lined up ready to go where's EasyJet going Liz <laughs> I, love I just, I just said it and I can't remember would you like to do this time I'll just go for a little walk down <laughs> south side finally we got rid of Liz <laughs> Geneva Get in! Geneva oh very good too high. I'll just do it on this one. This one. Having said that, I bet your fuel and uh, aviation fuel in Geneva is quite expensive. Yeah, Ross might know a bit more than that about all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Oh, I think he's got a bit on board there, you know. Okay, yeah, Mark, I, I feel like I'm learning here, but it's saying, yeah, so um, saying about the aisle chair can be a bit useless if there's no way to transfer the um, person. sort of effort and things. So, Because you're taking it, it for granted you... whether they have upper body mobility. Exactly, so it depends on what you say on the disability. So. Etty had lined up, ready to go. Oh, no. There we go. Well, so. That would be beautiful if you did, Tom. I would record that. Didn't get it, mate. Didn't exist. So, Etihad. Triple seven, heading back to Abu Dhabi. Do 
just having a long contemplation about life. <laughs> it's like Do going, I really want to leave the miserable Manchester world? Well, they, stay in, they stay in a nice hotel. They stay at the... Um, what used to be the... Oh, oh God. The one with the, uh, the Kimpton, isn't it? The one with the clock. What's that hotel called? Across the road from the corner house. The, pal- the old Palace Hotel, or whatever it was called. Next to the Palace Theatre. It's in town, anyway. Yeah, it's, I'm Fancy sure it's a Kimpton Golden. Hotel. <laughs> I know that. Anyway, let's get this. Wow, that was epic. That was right in front of us where it rotated. Yep. Sweet. And, uh, Kate, yes, so that one I'm aware of, that, yes, the arch can be used, uh, obviously depending, again, on uh, the person's um, disability to get them to their seat on and off the aircraft. Um, yeah, so that, that one I knew, but I didn't know there was, like, so I knew that, obviously, the um, assistant staff had one. I didn't know that there was one on board, so. Um, right, so the Ryanair that is, uh, that's pushed back... Uh, yeah. That's the one for Alicante. Well, I'll put my panning handle into the correct position this time. We just had a uh, SAS arrive as well we from have Copenhagen. New um, livery as well. The lights just fit on, it's all over the place, um, actually. So we're at Air France E190 from Paris next in. Uh, let's see if we can get that in shot. There you go. Nice banking shot. We, don't, we haven't got this for a while, to be honest, the extended departures. Just stayed on that. As soon as that easy jet spills, I'll jump onto that. Looks like they're working hard on the Emiratus. And of course, it goes behind the cloud as soon as go up there. Uh, David Healy, not a problem. Have a lovely rest of your day, but I'm glad you've enjoyed the show. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it from this kind of different perspective. I haven't, like I say, I haven't seen people do it up here for a while, so it's nice to uh, bring it You know, we enjoy, like, we know we enjoy coming up here. Coming up here with one of the, my uh, it's my favourite spot here at the airport. Have you taken, like, an extra Red Bull or something this morning? You've not shut up. I can't get a word in. Extra Red Bull? How many does he know we have? One. Well, one. Not even crack the coffee open Yeah, I don't think you need any coffee, you. Can I have a coffee, please? Make yourself useful, Liz. <sighs> you haven't done any of the wires, oh, have you? Go. You know, we all know that. I'll get me charger while I'm at it. Oh. oh god, this is where I fall over. I bet this piece. That's better. No, it's in the What are you doing? I was looking for the wire, but I don't think you put it in. I've you? already plugged. I've already done them. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about my iPad. Oh. oh sorry, I'll switch to my phone. Yeah. Someone forgot to pack it. It's your wire. Your uh, lightning cable. There you go. Think Tom. Think Tom's on it. It's the only thing I've got that doesn't use a USB C. What you call it? She, honestly, Tom. Like, you know, I ask her to bring all the wires and stuff like that, and what does she forget? Sure, why? Hey. It still work, but it's like... Yeah, it's frayed, that's all right. <laughs> if it electrocutes glaze, all the better, mate. Oh, cheers. 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 Let's have a look at the Emirates and see where they look are. The battery. Yep. He's on it. Oh, it's charging. Oh, lovely. See, see how much power's left on this beast. <laughs> everything it's black plugged into right, like I'm we do like a it. six or seven hour stream I'll turn if I have to 
we go. Yeah, like a six, seven hour stream and we're like down, if we're lucky, down a third. Lovely. It certainly is. There you go. Something different. And we're, from what I understand, this is to do with cargo, isn't it? Um, from Yeah, the stuff that I've seen online seems to suggest that this is more a cargo thing. Uh, but it's nice to have. Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> I thought there was something to be more profound after that. Oh, I was just confirming that it was the Turkish It is the Turkish Dreamliner. It certainly is. See that white body with the bit of red at the end. I, I really wish that they would kind of do a rejig on this livery. I think I, I like Turkish Airlines. I, there's a lot to like about them. Very good airline. That livery is just boring as hell. Uh, Imran, if you rewind, because you can go backwards on the YouTube stream, you'll be able to see the buzz. It was a buzzing one. <laughs> then it buzzed off. It was a buzzing pan as well. <laughs> I remember it. Uh, Northwest Happy. Friday to you as well. <sighs> oh, stand. So we've not got sandwiches today. <sighs> that was a disaster the other day. Oh, you, Tom doesn't know. So, oh, sorry. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> sorry. She just nearly. Um, uh, she, did, she right nearly made me. A, she basically Liz nearly made Tom a eunuch. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it and doing it in a PG way. <laughs> um, so. Basically, we went to m and got some sandwiches, and I picked up what I thought was a tuna mayo sandwich, and yeah. I didn't realise until I opened it, or I was about to open it, that it was prawn mayo. Oh, lucky error. Well, yeah, nobody told me. Colour packaging and everything. Well, exactly, but I, I'm, I can't see. So, because we got to the bottom of why. Uh, Simon didn't say anything, but yeah, don't want to mention that. No. <laughs> can you read Braille, Liz? No. She can barely read. Never mind read Braille. <laughs> the thing is, you don't like you don't necessarily really need that so much because there's everything can be read out on a screen or even like the magnifying app on your phone on an iPhone at least. Anyway, you can put it over text and it'll read it for you. Why didn't you do that? Because we were rushing around M and S, and if I start, I don't think getting, I was rushing. I was just, I was just. If I start getting my phone out and start going around every sandwich, and then series there going prawn mayonnaise, tuna mayonnaise, roast chicken and bacon. <laughs> you'd have got the right boy though, and we wouldn't have been. We would have saved time overall because you would have got the right boy. Well, I will do that next time. Oh, I can't wait. I, that's going to be behind the scenes. I'll tell you now. Stand behind the chair. Though. I would, mate. After what just happened to you. <laughs> It's really creepy because I can see your reflection in my iPad. <laughs> Tom, we do have insurance. I just want you to know that. We Is have it personal liability. <laughs> we certainly do. So uh, I think I think we're up, we're up for a bit on that. So uh, just to let you know. Well, exactly, Daryl. So you I've... might forget to plug the uh, a certain wire in, but the the plug between your brain and your mouth's working. That'd be great. It's got that Friday feeling. Hey, Daryl, I'm saying someone else should be doing that. Me? You should be plugging that wire in. Still <laughs> going back to that. I can't do that because of the what's it called? Oh, there you go, excuses. Look, all I hear is these excuses. Oh, Andy D saying, reminds me when I worked a ghoster at Luton. A ghoster is when you do a day shift and then a night shift. Oh. Ooh. Sounds painful, that, mate. Have you ever done a reverse ghoster? I haven't, I'll be honest. So hey, it's I, I off to Zurich, then that Ryanair to Alicante. Hopefully, Katie has a fantastic 30th. The term ghoster. <laughs> I had a red ball and totally missed the M6 turn off. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, the prawn emojis are back out. Hey! Get in there, peeps. 
None of this nonsense about bodies. It's like, it feels like it's just conspiracy theory. <laughs> uh, Mr. Finger, don't worry about it. It's absolutely fine. This is, this is the Ryanair to Alicante, Liz? Yes. Yeah. Right, good pan time. I hope you have a wonderful, is it 30th birthday? 30th birthday over there? Absolutely. Oh, Chris has done a night shift into a day shift. It's, uh, it's Tom that's with us. Think Tom. So the, so the, the guy, guy that's doing the videos. The guy did the, we did a premiere last night. Uh, did. What do you call it? Uh, another wonderful Think Tom production. Um, and if nobody noticed, uh, Liz did a sub on the thumbnail. Uh, nobody noticed it. Did a what? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah she does. Forget yeah. that. Have you seen the, the music notes that are made into little engines? That was that that was really amusing for me yesterday. Simon was like, you spent too much time in it. I was like, it wasn't. It didn't actually take me that long, and I got a Trust lot of me. enjoyment out of it. I, I watched about six holes of golf in that period that you did. So yeah, I was, was... thinking. I didn't spend the whole time doing that. I was thinking what to do for the thumbnail. So you spent all that time. Do you know what? That Jet 2 sounded really good. It sounded better than normal 7.3, that one. The Ryanair? No, Jet 2. That's why I said Jet 2. Jet 2 that's just like, taken off. Oh. Oh, it's not... Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is, yeah. Right, we do have an arrival. So, off to Paphos. And it does look like... Is it Sun Express? No. Nope. Guess Jet again. No, nope. guess again. Oh, it's Buzz! <laughs> it's Buzz! <laughs> Simon's starting to look like the bee on the back, I won't lie. So, uh, in from Krakow. You look like woman on tail. Oh, well, thanks. What faded away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> i got to see a Dreamliner coming out. It's going to Birmingham. Gypsy and Groyway. Everyone in Birmingham is just like cursing at me now. I don't care. There you go, Vision Thing saying, we'll be the judge of Simon's pants. No, you won't. Ooh. I'll just ban you from the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice, isn't it? This is what I have to put up with everyone. Daryl's put, we need more Think Tom on commentary. No, we don't. Oh, uh, there we go. We go. Sorry, that one double quick. There you go. Oh, Chris I've said. Been sacked already. I was going to say, Chris said he's done a night shift into a day shift. Oh, very good. There you go. Then did he have to drive home on the M6 and then miss his turn off? That was Andy. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> All right. <laughs> What would Siri say if I pointed out as Simon? I think I, I can get it so it can tell me if people are there. So there's like different modes on it. So there's the, like the thing where it can read things and then there's like the obstacle one and there's a door thing. So, I mean, I don't know who's walking around just with the the phone. I'm guessing it's something they'd probably end up putting into the, uh, like the Vision Pro at some point. Um, oh, but I don't know. Yeah, so... so uh, with the external, so I use an external monitor, and after a certain, when the sun gets above a certain point, oh, the, you can't see, you can't see like, it, even though it's they're very bright. I think it's like three thousand two hundred nits, which is a, a, a map a screen protector you can put on it. No, don't want to do that. I'm going to be getting something else in anyway, so I'm not that bothered about it. But oh, um, good morning. But yeah, you know, it, it does a job. But I just, I just have to tilt it, and then uh, I can see everything in. People asking in the chat how muddy it is. 
Very. Well, that's quite a good morning. Put the microphone near your feet. No, I don't need to. These pick it up. Really? Yeah, they're, they're good, aren't they, Liz? They are good. So, the, so just to give you, a, just to give you some context about how muddy it is, there's two people down half just further down than us. Uh, they tried to walk across um, the fir- where where what used to be the main exit, you know, the, or the entrance, depending on which way you look at it. Um, and they uh, came down that way, walked about five metres, and then decided to walk back and go a little long, long yeah. way around. Singapore's so. our finals, by the way. Excellent. Um, Zane, so we are at Wood, at Wood End Lane. If you go into our description, we have a spotting guide. There's a link there. I've not been able to plug that thing for a while. Um, our spotting guides are, a, a, honestly, it's really good. Um, but, yeah, the this is location three. Three, yeah. Yeah, three. Yeah, so like this sort of end is location three, and then if you go in the description of that video, it'll give you like the uh, location details. Ah, what's happening with me? What's uh... I'm not having a. You know that point there? I'm having a bit of a mare with that today. Try standing half foot back. I. Your arm, well, that's how I do it. Yeah. It's about giving, making space, isn't yeah. it? Is that that point where you go from pulling to pushing? Yeah. See, always learning. Always learning. Anyone want an A350? Or do you want the Dreamliner on the taxi? I'm going to say you're going to want the A350, aren't you? I'd say so. I've got problems going to go out to Dublin. I'll tell you what, it's getting flung around a little bit there. There you go. Tom's recommendation. And you've got a choice of two direct destinations as well for Manchester. And uh, we've missed the ATR. Yeah, the prop spot. Prop spot are crying because I'm on the A315. <laughs> but as we all know, A350 beats ATR. That is that is a law. I'd agree. So, uh, Good morning, Stephen. It also beats it alphabetically as well. Which is an important thing. It is. Uh, yep, cool zone. Yeah, I will say as well, if you're coming down here, um, just wellies. as we do the south side of spots, wellies. Wellies. Do, no, boots, no, wellies, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just, oh, yeah. Tom, Tom's come out in really good walking boots today, and um, yeah, looks special. <laughs> That's Ender's view. Okay, I know where it roughly is. I'm not going on that, I'm just going to get a generic... Pan. He's boarded next to a Virgin A350. I'm fairly certain he'd prefer to be on that today. No, he's but just. Yeah. He, he would. Like jet suit, doesn't he? And, uh... Well, he likes Tenerife as well. So it's like it's the you know the first time we're really getting the high capacity flights down there on that one. So it's yeah. he'll, he'll enjoy that. I won't lie. I was a little surprised though. He didn't go out on the uh, 75 a little bit later. The 75. Um, I think he wanted to try the, the air tanker. Didn't he? It was a 242. Wasn't yeah. It? So him and Nadia can cuddle. Yeah. Uh, frozen alive, good morning. Having said that, when we were on the A330 Virgin Atlantic Neo, we found that that space on the two, on the side there, it's a bit too much. Mm. We have spoken to Airbus about it as well. Oh. Yeah. Is the, three, has the 330 Neo got a slightly different sculpted um, sidewall? to make it a little bit more spacious yeah. but they haven't obviously changed the seat design is that what the difference is? Yeah, absolutely um, Night Adrian Night Adrian I, I think if they could just move it up just probably another couple of, A, you'd have a little bit more space in the aisle yeah. which is always good because um, that was that was a thing of you wasn't it Liz? You thought there was, you didn't have enough space on the aisle during the aisle seat Oh, yeah But um, other than that it was really comfy but it's just say it was just that uh, we were... Well, it was just the fact that I kept getting whacked. Yeah, by everyone that's walking past. Now I know you get that from some, like you know, from time to time. Then again, I realised when I got up to go down to the toilets that I was hitting everyone as well. So, and I'm usually really cautious of that. Yeah. Um, I, but as I say, it's just move it up. If you could, there, there, yeah. there is space to move it up closer to the actual. And that, that I think that is. I don't think that's. I don't think that's virgin. No. no, I think that was an airball thing, and I think they're aware of it. Um, so they need more cameras. Do you know? I saw a um, uh, TikTok from someone that was uh, for once someone middle seat in the middle of the Emirates wow. in economy. 
I was like, wow, this is something new. But he was uh, he was showing around the you know the IFE and stuff, and he was like, this is like amazing to me. So they usually fly EasyJet. I was like, fair enough. And uh, but he was showing the cameras. decent definitely going to uh, Birmingham um, but yeah so showing the camera so obviously you've got the tail camera um, but then you've got like the one like pointing down as well yeah so that's really cool I was like okay we all we just everyone needs that yeah we did we did say that let's like say more we, cameras please well, let's say we did a little thing for them and we just said just get the tail cameras in there on every plane people just love them a little bit of tail cam action had a great... Oh, yeah, and there was one, like, sideways as well. It was uh, really cool. We'll see less to movements next winter than we did this winter. Mm. The cruise. Did you heard, see that yesterday? I did. I like think Tom explained it, though. I'll okay. let like you tell the wonderful people about it. We'll, we'll love having Pete Tom on. I like it. So, two of you own a cruise line called Morella Cruises, and they have a, a winter programme in Asia. So... They'll fly out passengers and customers on the 787s to Singapore and where else did they fly them to? Might it be... Other, other places around Asia, anyway. Yeah. And, like um, Thailand in there, yeah. yeah, I'd imagine okay. so. And they, uh, they have cancelled all of their Asia winter sailings, so there's obviously no requirement for the, uh, the flights. So presumably they'll go somewhere else or not run at all. So we'll find out in due course, won't we? We certainly will. Right, so look at that, he's got more facts than I have. They're all rubbish though. <laughs> just just finish with that caveat, they're all just rubbish. <laughs> have been quite a few oh, yeah. we yeah uh, i think we noticed that actually didn't we on our mo oh, on monday because we went live uh, so wednesday mm -hmm. we had quite a few 319s on that one didn't we we did uh, um chris so yes he did give me the shut up sign when he was going yes <laughs> it was uh... <coughs> uh zane i've just tried to is in the chat so if you uh, sorry not in the chat in the um the description so go in the description of this live stream um just scroll past the the big blurb that i've written about Oh, my little at Manchester Airport, it has A380s, it has a... You know, there's stuff. emojis hidden in the thumbnail and things. Just go past that and it's literally there. There's the buy me a coffee link and then it's the Manchester Airport plane spotting guide. There you go. Sorted you. And failing that, just go into our videos. It's like one of, it's in there. It's probably about the 10th one down or something. It's quite a bit down now, yeah. Yeah, that's your fault, Tom, but you know. Annoyingly, YouTube still haven't come up with a way to pin videos apart from the thing on the front of your profile, which then just automatically plays, which is really irritating. Yeah. And I don't, we won't put one on there because it irritates me every time I go on to someone else's channel and then it's only just like playing. It's like MySpace back in the day with its music player. MySpace, wow. Didn't think we were going to mention MySpace today. I'll mention a bit of everything. So... I would get yourself a brew at the moment. I think we're going to have one of them little lulls and then it's just going to be like 20 planes out. Something like that. Still got quite a few in the back. And of course, we've got Ender going out, which is, let's be honest, is the highlight of anyone's year. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
I, I, got, I, I think I'm, I'm spoken out, Liz, now. Oh, so have you got uh, something you want to talk about? Two seven five seven back for Lanzarote. Oh, bit of grotty. Have you heard in the uh, over there, like in grotty and uh, certain areas, that they're going to be having sh- like strike, like you know the people there that they've had enough of the tourists. I'm not surprised. I've heard about ten, uh, uh, not ten. Was it Tenerife? Um, can't remember. It was somewhere over. It was one of the Canary Islands. Yeah, and they, they were saying like you know, in this off season that the. the, the I think they're going to have a few kind of strikes over, like they don't. They're just, they're just saying they're sick of everything being around tourism, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. well, you kind of you do might, kind of need it. There's, there's, you've you've, there's you've set it all up now that you are so reliant on tourism. Now um, I don't think you can change it. It's going to take That's a massive one. change of direction to do that, and I don't think you've got the services over there to do that. No, but hey, exactly. good luck with that. Just winding Ender up about him not putting his usual. Well, me with all my friends picture up. No, he's got, he has got a friend he's for once. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> Ender finally has a friend. Oh, how lovely. I'm really starting to think there's some sort of conspiracy theory with Ender's flights because there's never anyone else near him. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be that he boards first and takes a quick picture. Oh, or that. <laughs> or, he just, or, or he just smells and everyone moves away from him. It's one of, the, it's one of those. We don't know which. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Sarah, yeah, it's a, it's a nice day here today. Not too well, it's much sun, sunny. but it's um, it's sunny, so we'll take that. I've now actually got the shadow. It's got a shadow. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not, it's not cold. Top to, Tom's always aspired to have a shadow. <laughs> uh, that's a good thing. Uh, let's go back the other way. Let's see what we've got. Anyone at the RVP? RVP massive. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you can see the sass over there, T1. All right, Colin, the description, uh, the link should be in every description um, because I, I just copy and paste the... Uh, well, not copy and paste. It, it goes straight for... So all the live streams, so the last, I don't know how many, have got the link in. Uh, the videos, um, all the time's videos will have it in because I also do it the same ones that. Um, the only one that wouldn't be with sh- would be shorts, shorts cause because I it's... The way YouTube does it, it is such a, a pain to... Like YouTube just still haven't thought shots through. They're just like we want to be like TikTok, and they've just—it's such a nightmare. Yeah. Like your impression of the CEO of YouTube, there, Liz. I, it was very accurate, wasn't it? Yeah, it's probably like is. TikTok. That's, that's what their replies on online sound like. No, I think the word that we were looking for there is pre-populate. So when we go to create another stream, uh, you have the choice—you you have the choice to pre-populate one of the previous streams. So you can basically put all the blurb in there and the tags, etc. And uh, so it makes it easier for people to set up a stream. Um, so, but it doesn't do that for shorts, which is really stupid. Yeah. Considering um, it's, but well, yes, it's uh, it is Tenerife apparently. It's uh, where they're complaining. To be honest, I don't. I don't like. Look, I've said this before. British tourists can be an absolute nightmare. Um, wow. My experience, I went to Amsterdam for a weekend once and it was, it was just an absolute nightmare. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> just looking at these two. We're no. Just admiring Simon's new gadget. No, he's just, he just also pointed out uh, that one of the things isn't in the hole as it should be. Um, that's because I moved it when we set it up. Okay. But uh, he's right. Okay. I would have forgotten that as well, by the way. No, which uh, would be fun later. It's basically just the wheels at the back. It would just tilt yeah, yeah. them forward. Right, well, that was... Well, they are still loading heavily on the Emirates. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, that one's... But I'm looking down. I, I'm, I'm here for the Vwelling. Oh, I'm here for the Vwelling. You know, we get easy jets. They're ten a penny here at Manchester. We want the Vwelling. What is Vwelling now? 13 weekly? It is. Wow, it's, it's honestly like I know those numbers, but like it's just I wouldn't it won't come off the tip of my tongue if you get me. Impressive, Tom. Impressive. Oh, Ryan F from Tenerife on finals. Look at Sky Scanner enough. Yeah, he's always looking for cheap flights. So the thing about Tom is he's a really nice guy, but he's cheap as hell. <laughs> and he's always like the cheapest holiday. But in fairness, he did. You know, he always gets us a bargain, don't you, Tom? Yeah, you're, I try to. You're good for that. You are good for that. Yeah. 
the day, what was it like? 25 quid each way or something? That was crazy. Sort of coffee. And then you oh, your coffee was eight pounds on the way back. Yeah. It was so then you did get a free. Well, you all got a free upgrade, but you must have got a double upgrade, wouldn't you? Yeah. Honestly, it was uh, it was crazy. I do I do miss COVID times for that. The cheap flights and everything. It was brilliant. Um, that we did we did so much travel in that time. You know, I, it was I, safe to do so, of course. No, yeah, yeah. Necessary it, documentation and vaccination. Well, it's when they reopened, so you know, you weren't, weren't jumping across things willy nilly. No. You weren't like uh, pretending to um, have uh, vaccinations and then um, travelling on false documents, you know, like yeah. some people did. Um, but you know, um, it, you know, it, it was great to take advantage of it. I won't lie, um, and get cheap prices because some of these places that you go to now, you look at like Corfu at the moment. And you are not getting flights there for less than three hundred pounds return. Like in, I'm talking about in the high season, you know, July, um, when really we'd want to be going because that's when the best action is. So, exactly. uh, uh, <laughs> I have see past. I don't think they'll be uh, doing much sightseeing on the way to Birmingham. They'll just be like, oh, another position in flight. <laughs> They're probably there now, aren't they? Probably. Yeah. Look at the M6 a couple of times and go, ooh. Ah, they're all stuck in a queue. <laughs> right, we have an arrival. It's a nice little Ryanair. Please get to Far Elby next out. Well, there was a bit of action on that one. Um, Definitely tip that left wing down a little bit. But. I always tip the left wing down. It's like, are you even on approach to Manchester if you don't tip your left wing down? No, exactly. <laughs> Tipping Kevin here. That Logan has been here a while. The Embraer. Oh, okay. Is there an issue with it? Or is it just that scheduled to go out with us or like? I don't know whether they've cancelled the W rotation that they initially had planned when they uh, did the route. It comes in from Scotland, then goes to Isle of Man or goes to Newquay before going back to then go back to Scotland. They they did cancel one of them, didn't they? And I can't it remember which be, one. It could be that. So. Isle of Man seems to be popular, so I'd say the new key, but again, I, without knowing, I'm just only speculating. Right. Easy, easy, easy jet. Zania, Wood End Line. That's correct. That's the one, mate. Uh, what I would say at the moment is be very, very conservative with your parking because there's, there are a couple of laybys further down where you think it's going to be great to park. Um, however, there's so much mud there. We we nearly got trapped there with yeah. Lizzie's <laughs> with the rear wheel drive um, going well, out there. It, it, it it, we all notice how he still calls it my car. Yeah. Morning, Gareth. I'm in the wrong position here. <laughs> I got away with that. Got away. Absolutely murder on that. I was actually teased and considering. I was. Uh... Yeah, it always makes me chuckle. I've not driven for over a year. We'll never drive again unless they find a cure or self driving cars become a real thing. Uh, and it's like, this is car. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I've got some five lining up. Right, I'm not going to mess this one up. It's just too much. It's too much, it's too much pressure. I, I love pressure, especially when it's a 7 5. It's a Lons Rote. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and they're saying all aboard. He's all aboard. And there's a board. Everyone's on there. He's in seat 13. With a friend. <laughs> so I doubt we'll be pushing back at 10, though. It's alright, Ender, we'll hang around for you. We'll just charge you £20 right. a minute. As soon as uh, Ender's flight pings up, I will I'll leave you with Simon and Tom because I need to go a bit further down and get a photo. I don't think you need to go that much further no, down. No, I don't, but I will go a bit further. i just go probably just behind where those guys are. I can't, I'll... I'll... No, you'll see them when you go past yeah. them. But, uh... Probably bump into them on the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some five, now going. And I am recording.
Very nice. As I said before, that right engine pushing out a bit of smoke. Yep. Oh, hi again, Kirsty. Kirsty, you've managed to do the school running. It's not rained. I'm assuming it's not raining there. If it's raining there, I'm crying. <laughs> Andy's saying apparently the jets are going to dedicate G Sunk with a K uh, to cruise flights. I think they should just call it the Titanic. <gasps> oh! Call it the Titanic! <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be rushing out to do that one, Liz, I've got to be honest. <laughs> Well, we can't have another sunk, so he's going to have to have a different name, so... Call it Leo. Well, yeah, he sunk as well, didn't he? he? Did. There was room on that thing for them both. Yeah, Ro Rose, yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, we have the Wellings now crossing over to free right as well as an EasyJet. It's actually, Evan Science would think that uh, oh, Sunny Bravo is nearly a year old now. That... I remember when everyone wet themselves when that came in. They did though, didn't they? Everyone went so crazy. Like, oh my gosh! And now it's just like, that's next delivery. Let's just, let's just remember that I uh, decided to lovingly name the Regis. Me. Oh, that Liz. It's the best country that the Regis, though, is Virgin. Yeah. Oh, that's a given. Well, I like that they plan well ahead, don't they? Yeah, they make the name of the aircraft to do with the Reg. Yeah. And there's always a backstory behind it as well. Yeah. 787 GV Spy and it's called Miss Moneypenny. Yeah. Because they're in the Bond film. Right, so Tom loves Bond films. That's why I used that reference there. He loves a Bond film. Oh, well, you know, it's apparently Jack was in shorts when he's gone to school. What, a rebel? Well, that's how you know it's like getting towards summer, isn't it? Oh, he's going to be playing football later and he's going to get a stinger against his legs and he's going to regret that. I've done that and I'm just, I'm just going off that. <laughs> right, Mighty Orange, lined up. Just Take off lights. Done. I was going to say, just think, Kirsty, you can then tell the story in like 35 years' time or 40 years' time or whatever when uh, <laughs> he's still not got over the uh, the stinger on his knee from playing football with his shorts on. It's on his legs, not the knee. It's, his legs, it, sorry. Yeah, it's on the legs, like the knee you can deal with. Any, anyone who's had a stinger on the legs from a football will I was too busy with the, I don't know, with a skipping rope or something. My little checked dress. <laughs> oh. I did, no. I'm surprised they could pan that easy jet. Otanuki. But with adult Liz, not child Liz, that gets weird, okay? Yeah. Sorry, what? It's alright, Liz. We've had our own private conversation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Adult Liz. Do I put that in specifications, please? Uh, Wellings, Barcelona next. I'll have to get you a skipping rope off Amazon. Oh, oh, right. I'm get, I'm getting, I'm getting Think Tom a gift off Amazon. I saw it this week, and it's like, it's only a couple of quid. So it's like, it's not, it's not. But you, I, you'll love it. Like you genuinely love it, or you'll love it more than I will because <laughs> it's a joke. I think you'll love it. Do you want to know what it is? Go on then. Unless so, you want to keep it a surprise. Well, it's up to you. Do you, you, do you want to know it or think it? Up to you. Okay then. I'll keep it a surprise then. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a Bella. I don't even know what it is. You, you don't know, that's correct. Only I know at this moment what it is. And right, the reg this one. What is it? Naff. Oh, it's naff this plane. Oh, I see your plan there, Kirsty. Apparently he always comes home with rips in his trousers, so... Yeah, I, proper kid there, like it. None of this. Hopefully, we won't have that problem in shorts then. None of this non active stuff. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, this one's up early. I'm guessing there's nobody on it. According to the airport community, yeah. 
That's not bad. It's not bad. That was more than I was thinking, to be honest. Obviously, no one's paid for suitcases. <laughs> They've all gone, to, gone away on the weekend with, like, a, a backpack. Yeah, OK, that works. All right, we do have an arrival. I'm just going to jump down. It's a nicely timed flight for a weekend away. Well. It is. You've got a lot of the day to still do stuff. Try and at least well, to get a little bit higher on the... the... He's jetting from Amsterdam. Absolutely. Bit of mighty orange, keeping them wings lovely and level at the moment. Sunny's coming out. Just the before the bump, they got that down. Uh, morning, Daniel. Hope you're doing well. Ah, great to have you in, buddy. Oh yeah, Tom, we've got you to, uh, we've got homework for you to do uh, on but yeah <laughs> Saturday uh, to coming in Sunday. So we, so this just, this goes out to everyone. So if you you know if you just listen, um, we shit on listen. Sorry. <laughs> We did a. You were that kid at school, weren't you? When the teacher told you to shut up. You, you, Fingers you, on your lips. Yeah, yeah. You were there like this. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's all, right. all right. It's all right, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> you, you're all right. It's that thing. <laughs> but um, so we did a kind of, well, a members post. So it's for members at the moment where we've asked you to uh, choose the name for the new buggy that we got. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. You'll, you'll be thrown in there in a minute. Oh. So members are going to be uh, coming up with the names for the new buggy, um, and then we're going to get Tom to choose four of them. Okay. Um, shortlist. Them. Shortlist. I will send. I'll, I'll screenshot all the names and I'll send them over to you, and you can shortlist them. And then everybody uh, will be able to choose, vote out of those four or five. It depends on how many I like. Um, out of those four or five, what the new name of the buggy will be. So uh, we've had some cracking names already. What names have you had? Uh, buggy Mac bug face because that's what sorry. that's what Paul that's what Vision Bing for. I did say when we were going to post it, I said someone is going to put the like Buggy Mac buggy face. Wait a Standard. What else have we got? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm just going to go into it. Sackjet two. We no one cares. I know there was a couple of oh, Nigels shit. in there. Oh yeah, there was a few Nigels. Uh, in there. there was Kevin. <laughs> Poor Kevin. Well, I replied to I that one. Sorry I said, Rudy. The I, Rudy I, was left out. <laughs> well, no, I replied to that one. And I said, what you call? I said, Kevin's been carrying uh, us for long enough. So. Well, exactly. Uh, let's have a look. I think my planes. The right zoom, Simon, this one. Absolutely not. You will... Oh, do you know what, Tom? Do you want, do you want, uh, yeah, do you want to try and pan it at this? Pan it at 900. Oh, this is going to be for you. <laughs> It'll do it as well, because he is good. Which is annoying. That's 63 comments. Yes! <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? I've done it. It's hard work. Good job, though, mate. That was good. At six, 600, I, at 900, I take. So. Oh, yeah, the hype tripe trike. Uh, yeah, you he did that one. <laughs> The Think Tank, I love that one because we use Think Tank photo uh, bags. Um, hike, trike, ladybug, trolley dolly. There's a few there. The Boeing buggy, I like that. Southside or ringway, smuggy, bu the, the buggy smuggler. It's a push a lot. Yes, I quite like that one. Yeah, prawn sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, don't worry, everyone. If you remember and you've not put your suggestion in, you've still got until, well, probably Saturday night, isn't it? Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. Bugsy Malone, I like oh, that. Yeah. You could do Trolley Dolly. Yeah, we've had that, I think. Have you? Yeah. Wilson. <laughs> I like that one, Wilson's good. Barry. <laughs> oh, Barry's the goose. Yeah, exactly. But what you call it? Tonics Mobile. You see, we've got, we've got some crackers in there already. Man. So, uh, what you call it? Yeah, loving that. So, yeah, if you haven't already and you are a member, you oh, can... Oh, just pinged up. Oh, is he? And the plane has too, probably. Yeah. And, <laughs> and <this. laughs> oh, dear. 
We're going to do a bit of a TikTok after this because we're going to try. We're, we're, we're trying to do something on it, and it's it's just irritating, isn't it? TikTok yeah. Is... So we have to do uh, a TikTok live after we finish the YouTube live. So if you are on TikTok, then by all means, feel free to. Uh, it won't just, be with the camera. It's only going to be with the phone. It's going to be on a phone. It's going to go old school. <laughs> Basic. We're going to have a bit of fun with that one. Uh, yeah, we just need to activate a couple of things. It's just really irritating because uh, their customer support is absolutely... It's the worst customer support. Sorry, TikTok. Like, YouTube might come back with a thing for you and it might be the, not the answer that you particularly want, but at least they reply. TikTok just don't even acknowledge your existence. I don't know how that company exists. He's pushing. And just pushing. What's he pushing? <laughs> In the toilet or something. <laughs> God's sake. Uh, I might be a bit late to this news, but... You... I did, yeah. Yeah. Right, so I'll be uh, going to get. Oh, yeah, give Tom your mic. We'll yeah. have Tom for a bit. Good luck, chat. My thoughts and prayers are with you. There you yeah, go. I don't blame you there, to be honest. Can I have your iPad then? Just uncharge it. Uncharge it? Yeah, I'll decharge it, whatever. Oh, there we go. Oh, Armand's in the chat. Nice one. Good to have you in, mate. Sorry, like Liz didn't notice you. Disgusting. Can't get a word in. Um, oh wait, just get ten meters away. We'll do some music as well for it. Uh, one sec. We're we're we're, get, we're getting into mischief here at the moment. I won't lie. We could get naughty in the next few minutes. Uh, yeah. See, Daniel Watkins knows where it's at. He's like going, yeah, you, TikTok are useless. They they are. They put all this stuff out and it's like, they're going, oh yes, we're going to be this biggest thing and everything. And it's literally the, quite the opposite. The, the customer support is useless. There she is. Put in the chat whether you think she'll fall over in the mud. Oh yeah, I'll stay for this. This is going to be This is what you all tuned in for, I'm sure. Oh, she's doing well so far. Oh, in fact, she's doing a better job than you all doing coming down That's here. That's true. You can actually see the... Yeah, I'm going to try and keep them people out of it. Go on, Les, we believe in you! Yeah, that's covered it off, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. You had Liz doing uh, impressions of Ryanair's, now she's just walking down to the She's bottom. doing a penguin impression now, isn't she? She's Waddling. Do She's doing a good thing. Dean saying the buggers should be called red coat. Um, mm. I, don't, I don't think the Amer our American viewers would be too happy with that one, to be honest. So... Um, Herdy, fall over, go on, do it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is so the bit she's coming up to now is the worst. It's, oh yeah. Yeah, this, this this is where it's like really flat, it's like a lake. It's where the runoff from the farm's field comes down, isn't it? Yeah. Where's she going anyway? Yeah. There! Liz! Liz! She can't hear, she's deaf. Liz! There! There you go. <laughs> Sorry, that was just code for... Any headphone users, we do apologise. I don't care. If you've gone deaf, you've gone deaf. What? I know, I changed my mind! Uh, Mike saying, KLM 737900 and Sky Team delivery from Amsterdam. Next arrival, four minutes out. I'm trying to see if I can see it. I can't see it as yet. Well, there you go. You've had, you've had your Liz fix for the day now. She might fall on the way back. She's walking back towards us now. I was like, no, I just told you you were perfect where you were. And now she's like walking back towards us. <laughs> Vision thing. Is she going for a poo? Um, always. There we go. Well, that depends on what her picture comes out like. But I would never suggest that her pictures come out like that. Yeah, what is waiting for Liz to disappear into a puddle, into the puddle like Dawn French and a figure of Dibley. <laughs> One of the iconic scenes. One star, mate. It might happen on the way back. And Roy, Bigfoot sighting. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We do look like that. When we come out, we've got, like, multiple layers on. Uh, with, like, like honestly, she's got about ten layers on. Because, like, I I don't feel the cold as much as she does. Like, no. you always hear her complaining about how cold it is. What's she taking a picture of at the minute? Cause... She's exposing for the EVF. Ah, she's, just doing, she's just doing a check. Um... Yeah, Matt's going, is she going to stand right in that bloke shot? Liz, <laughs> Liz the astronaut. Yeah, she's literally stood in that bloke shot. I know. <laughs> no, the, the thing is, because she's she's down further, um, you won't actually, you won't actually be in the shot, but uh, what do you call it? 
call it, call it, Jared. She does blend in with her coloured coat into the bush, though. So. She does, she does. Uh, just to say thank you, who was it? Uh, what do you call it? Raskar saying 920 in chat, 591 likes. We don't beg for likes, but come on, stick a few likes in for Liz walking down. If you haven't liked the stream already, it only takes two seconds. Right, Ender is still not moving. He's pushed fully back, though, so they're probably just starting the engines up on that. Uh, round the back, we do have the Air France. Uh, it's the Hoppity Hop. It's the Embraer E190. Um, that will be coming out quite soon, but we're just waiting for that. And the Emiratus A380. Um, have we got something else. Oh, that's just got the Enders has just gone off, so that means it's probably just uh, started up. Fin Air Embraer E190 is now pinging. That's going to be going out to Helsinki. Do you like the? Do you like uh, Fin Air? I, I've never flown with them, but they do look quite nice. I think I've, I've been on board one though. I like. I won't like. I like I that. Fix it, but I've been on board one. <laughs> I saw the. Did you, oh, so, you know, like, Finair celebrated their anniversary 30 here. 30 years or something. 30 like years, wasn't it? And I saw the captain's hat, and he had, like... Uh, sorry, it was the FO's hat. And he had, like... So he's got the emblem on the front, and then he had, like, stag horns on the top of it. It looked quite weird. I was All like, right. that's a bit different. It is a little bit. Yeah. Right, I can see the uh, KLM in the Sky Team livery, which the legend Mike K mentioned. You've also got an ops car on runway two. Yes. Oh, thank you, mate. There we go. Just having a little bit of a cheeky inspection whilst it's a little bit quiet on here. You know we can't say no. I'm presuming Wendy is a KLM fan. Oh, Wendy loves KLM. Do you know what? The pe people might say that Wendy is the numero uno, not their KLM fan. Roy might debate that, though. Um... But I'll let them sort that out. That's got nothing to do with me. I'm just starting arguments. <laughs> but when don't you? Yeah, exactly. But Wendy, fantastic to have you in the chat as always. Oh, there's a 2787 just ping, started pinging. Excellent. Going to Punta Cana. Can't be a bit of Punta Cana, mate. Nice place. I do like the Sky Team livery on this. Um, what do you think of the Virgin Atlantic thing uh, in regards to the Sky Team livery? Because they're not going to be having one. Uh, that that as part of the agreement that they had to join the Sky Team livery, it was heavily negotiated, and they won't be having one. Hmm, disappointing a little bit. Yeah. It would have been quite nice. However, the Virgin livery is nice just enough as looks, it is. As, so I, I think that was their argument back at them. It's just like, do you need to improve on perfection? Well, they've only got like what forty planes or so, haven't they? Yeah. So to have one or two is quite a large percentage of the fleet. Yeah, it's not like where they're doing it Delta or so we get KLM or yeah. uh, F1. So, you would have also heard about, well, that's a smoky touch down there, that Virgin Atlantic aren't we doing the clubhouse at Manchester now. Yeah. We know that an alliance uh, being mooted around there for that. You think it's going to be Sky Team? I think it makes sense. I think it might be One World. You think it's going to be... No I think oh, it might be One World. No. Cafe. Well, we've got loads of One World carriers anyway, but it seems to be their, their big thing now, One World. They've opened a new lounge in Amsterdam. Yeah. For... Uh, a non-hub airline well, as well which, and done which, one in, I think in Incheon as well in Seoul they have but the, the one in Amsterdam has been very well received hasn't it yeah and I think it would work well here purely because we've got so many carriers you know all in one terminal now as well yeah. so from next year the only carrier that won't be in Terminal 2 will be Ryanair yeah. Ryanair will take all of Terminal 3 uh, the date for that is yet to be confirmed but it's Absolutely. probably at the end of summer 25 it would make sense for him to do that because it, it gives be. him more options doesn't it in yeah. regards to what to do but you've got, like, just to name a few, uh, Finnair, yep. Cathay, BA, and you'll probably have access to... Right, channel. Sorry, Nige. Okay. Yeah, good old Nigel Airways. Um, Iberia, when they come in. Um, nice. Qatar as well. well Royal that, Jordanian now. Well, the, I Royal think the... Royal Emirat the, when they come in. It, it, so, as we know, Qatar fund One World massively through through their things, and I think it would if if it was if it were to be One World, they'd be pushing a hell of a lot of the money into that, wouldn't they? Because it yeah. makes sense, and you know, with, with their services each day. Well, uh, there's, there's probably well, there isn't enough lounge space anyway at the minute. Is, it, is the Aspire Lounge open in T two now, or is it just the um, just the Escape Lounge? So I I'm I'm on the understand it's still just the Escape, uh, which is a nice lounge, but it's not particularly large. Well, especially when you've got the numbers going through that. Yeah. And with the new security procedures, uh, which seem to be going down really well everywhere at the moment, the, the scenes of people seem to be going through a lot quicker, which means yeah. they've got more time to spend in the lounge. <coughs> that is very true. Uh, we've just got a tap-tap touchdown. 
It's nice to, to be an Airbus for once. Yeah, well, we had the A320neo in um, yeah. on Wednesday, and I was really happy to see that because they've just been mugged off with Embraer's. See, I used to call them the Hungry Caterpillar airline because it just looks like the Hungry does, Caterpillar. But when that light is on the, you know, the green and the red, it just yeah, does nice. look good. It does look good. Unless the paint's incredibly faded like some of their old A320s, in which case it doesn't quite. Yeah, but... I would agree with you on that. I've had a couple of rants about that. I think everyone will know that. Okay, Finnair's now lined up, ready to go. And we do have another plane on finals. I can see Ender! No, sorry, let, let, let's sack that. I don't Ender care. takes priority, of Ender, course. Ender, Ender rules, this is what we call. The aircraft on a, uh, approach is uh, Ryanair 737 MAX from Cologne. Excellent. We do like a bit of Cologne. Cologne. do. You've done that trip, haven't you, with Ender? I have. I like it there. I think it's, it's nice. definitely one we're going to be doing a show uh, from. I just think it works with the terrace there. It does. The terrace is good there. And the Moxie's not too bad, except for you get a rubbish beer. If that, You get a free complimentary uh, drink when you go there. Do not choose the beer because you just get this rubbish thing. We all went to the bottles of Budvar. Yeah, that's what Whit, Ender and I had as well. Yeah, uh, Ender, well, Ender they, loves a Budvar, doesn't he? Well, no, I did it first. Oh, and then, right, so I did it first, and then he went, oh, you can get that. I went, yeah, and the cheaper. I went, right, I'm on that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, it's become a bit of a rule since then. I uh, did that in LA as well. Uh, Jet Junkie Spotter, I presume you know who that is. It's Dean. Dean. He's put the CEO, not a Neo. That was for the tap, I presume, which it was, yes. So I think Simon was. I was talking about the Wednesday. Wednesday's one. Are you listening, Dean? <laughs> Dean. Right, let's, let's... <laughs> Someone's put has Liz stacked it yet? Not no, she, yet. She's, she's, she's literally uh, built um, a new place for her to live. Do you know what the hours of opening off the two runways at Manchester Airport are? I do. Asks Jordan. Yeah, so uh, weekdays it is dual ops 0615 through to 8 pm. Uh, Saturdays it is 0615 through till 4. Yeah. And Sundays dual ops uh, 0615 through till 9 30, and then it's 1 pm through till 8. eight yeah. yeah. Interesting name, Raskas has put, I hope you are checking that Liz has not fallen over. I hope you're named after the corner of the Monaco the Grand, Grand Prix, Prix track. I hope That's so. A, a good little Easter egg, if it is. Good guy on Twitter as well, Raskas. Yeah. yeah. Emirates has pushed. Double bonus. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have Ender, which is going to be the priority of our show, let's be honest. It's beautiful, beautiful man. And it's beautiful, beautiful plane. Bit of heat haze there, I can see it. Yeah. Nice to see. Means it's slightly warm. And, of course, the mighty Emirates A380, which is now pushing. It's going to take a few minutes to start up. Well, we'll look forward to that. And this has been air that's contemplating life at the moment. <laughs> it's like going, do I go? Go on, give us clearance up in the tower ATC, we love you. The uh, buzz has started pinging, going back to Krakow. Oh, we'll have a bit of buzz action as well. So hopefully see... that will push back in a couple of minutes. Well, I'd say that it's got more chance of pushing back before the Emirates gets over here. So, uh... I would imagine so. I think it's just got to wait for the louder that's pushed to taxi off and then that will push back I'd imagine but yeah all depends on what ATC you want to do that's a shout didn't see that louder a push to be honest but yeah it's, it has I can see it from here right finally the fin has been given clearance they, 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 they were saying is Liz ready with the camera because <laughs> they they've got a big they've got a massive pair of binoculars up there haven't they that they can basically see right all over the airfield so they're probably just watching Liz and going is she ready with the camera and they went she is so uh... Right, it's end of time, so Tom's just going to go and leg it. Just leave it there, mate, don't worry. This is the one we're waiting for. The legend that is Ender Burke is on here. So, throw some cameras in the chat. So, do you know the camera emojis? Because he's like the best aviation photographer there is. So, uh, throw some camera emojis in the chat just to show some love for Ender. Don't usually do this, but he's a good mate. Um, and I bet Harrison's watching from somewhere. Going, why didn't you come out and get this for me? Don't you like me? Yeah. Uh, I'd be crying over that, but, you know. Like, even Ops are coming out to see Ender off.
right, we are rolling. Enjoy this, everyone. So I tried to pan on his window. I think I saw him. Now I'm going to go into the stream and someone's going to go, stream's gone tech. <laughs> that happened to us like with one of Liz's mates from uni. Uh, but yeah. Right, do you, do you want Liz cam or do you want Ender cam? Liz cam. Sorry, Ender, you've had your time. Uh, I would imagine someone's put have a safe flight Edna. Uh, I I would take Edna as well, but uh, here she comes. <laughs> She's gonna kill me for this. I've never seen some, someone just give so much effort to something. Right, let's get the uh, arrival. <laughs> I was up early, wasn't it? I know that headwind's quite strong. I got a funny yeah. feeling the A380s, like I say, it'll have its gear, front gear I, up there. I, I think so. Yeah, someone's put, people are putting Liz cam now. Yeah. People want Liz. Oh, no, she, she'll, she'll batter me. It's just not <laughs> worth my life. So we've got Pegasus A321neo coming in. I would say so this time. It usually is. Struggling a little bit there. Yeah, Getting from a bit Istanbul. tasty. Oh, a little bit smoky as well. Liz looks like she's lost the will to live. She, she looks like that nine, nine times out of ten. Have you lost the will to live? So that buzz is going to have a bit of a wait because it's got the uh, it's got well it's got the louder as you rightly said but there's another Ryanair there there's a Max there yeah We've got a two Dreamliner Rose and... put the Jaws theme would be appropriate da dum da dum da dum shot that even ended up being proud of oh very good well I, I think I saw him okay. I, I went on the window and I think I saw him so. I was like, should I just stay it on the nose? And I went, nah, let's just throw it on the, uh, throw it on the what do you call it? But it was great to uh, see him off. I'm guessing there'll be quite a few uh, cameras in the chat. Oh, thanks. Hello, chat. Okay. Have we all survived? We were taking bets on you. On what? Like whether you'd fall over or not. Oh, gee, thank you. I, I was hoping you fell over. Uh, to be honest, probably, I can probably live without it being plugged in now. 24. Oh, At 24, we're finishing in a little while, so... Oh, yeah, I'll be fine, there you go. What so, you what we're looking to get uh, is the TUI, the Emirates... I don't mind the buzz. All right, Liz? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Me, me and the chat are going to chill. Watch Liz, some... were you in the way of that guy taking a uh, video behind you? I have no idea, to be honest. I was a bit further down, to be fair. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, don't go, don't care. It's just me. It's all about me. Well, I don't know. I had to move forward because there's a bush in the way. Self, self, self. Oh, it's like that all the time, <laughs> mate. Oh, well, I don't like this sass because it's got an ill-fitting ray dome. Oh, and it's per hate. It's mine as well. Like, cow, uh, cowling and ray domes are my number one. Anything else I can, I can get. So I quite like it when airlines design it so that it's all one colour. Yeah. Like the Ryanair blue and the yellow line underneath stops just below the radar, so you can just have a white one and it won't make yeah. a difference. The, the one that gets me is the BA one where they'll paint the bottom bit blue to line up, but it doesn't line up with the rest of the blue on the thing. It's irritating as hell. Irritating as hell. Uh, we've, and we've had that one in quite a bit. Right. Considering they're all meant to be painted to the same specification, 
they're obviously not, are they? <laughs> they're not. Oh, so, so, oh, Liz has been painting them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she just ro- eye roll. You oh, I got the eye roll there, there won't I? I know, Herdy. He needs me. Strange fall apart without me. <laughs> yeah. Bit of sass. Go on, come down a little bit further than normal, and I'll be. You'll be in my good books. Oh yeah, that'll do. That'll do as a rotation. I've got two crossing over now. Bit of Dreamliner loveliness for you. And as we said, I think on the previous stream, good to see that two ib. The lovely Phil has sent us an email regarding oh, all Phil. that, so I'll uh, I'll show you that in a bit. But uh, great to see that two went into uh, get a fresh, get spruced up for the summer season. Um, Gonna look. I think mean, it's gonna look so much better. Um, What's that, sorry? So G2 went in, uh, went over to the states to get a uh, new liquor paint on it. Oh, very good. So, uh, so uh, looking forward to seeing that when it comes back. And uh, oh look, we we have uh, two ops watching. Excellent. We love, we love two ops. But yeah, some uh, great information there. So yeah, seven eight seven dash nine, like the one. In, in frame, frame now is um, flying to Tenerife uh, a couple of days a week I think or at least That's once right. a week I so you can try the premium seats for a small upgrade compared to the slightly larger upgrade that you pay for a Caribbean flight or something so there you go. if anyone wants to try that treat yourself. treat yourself that's what Tom's saying Tom would you ever treat yourself depends what it is oh I was going to say no because you're too tight but you know <laughs> well, you've got to treat yourself at some point haven't you <laughs> you do you do it's a good product. It's a really good product. So I've seen it. It's a good product. Yeah. Right to, um, uh, I'm trying to see if Mr. Away, Pingu is still on the chat. I've just seen your message. I apologise if I missed it before. It's but... quite hard for me to see in this bright light on my iPad, but I can see a lot better on my phone. Yeah, I, I actually saw that message. I was just going to reply at the end of the stream, to be honest. But yeah, fantastic news. But yeah, it's really good news, mate. Uh, yeah, so we'll give you a proper reply later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, brilliant. Very happy to hear that. Just recording this one. That was really nice, that one. Rotated right in front of us. Love a bit of that. There you go, Matt was just saying about the uh, the mismatch BA. Uh, Ray Dome saying... Um, I can't remember. Do you know what? I just read the comment and I've forgotten about it. Mm. Uh, we're painted on different planes. Um, and is it the difference between the factory paint and the BA painting? It's just a bodge job, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's a it's a bodge job. I don't like how it's uh... speaking of BA and next. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get BA. Well, right. But yeah, See, I'd imagine so. I imagine it's probably. I don't know. Maybe it's as well with like. I don't know. Maybe we got a different shade. Maybe maybe the the original shade was discontinued. <laughs> Oh, Tom, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to ask you about this, like, because I don't think anyone got back to us in the chat when we said it on Wednesday. So, the, the, so it's on Facebook, so, like, so whenever I start with it's on Facebook, this is why I'm asking questions, uh, you take it with a pinch of salt. So what this person said was, and they heard it from a friend of a friend, there we go, just to really kind of, like, make you not feel like it, is that Jet 2 did not go with the dot-com livery because Boeing effectively owned that shade of grey. Uh, you know, like that goes down the main part of the fuselage. 
and that because they're now using Airbus, Boeing were not willing to relinquish the rights on that. And I, I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that, although... Sorry, you'll have to come over for here for this one. <laughs> the, the, the paint that they, um, they've painted onto the new ones yeah. is actually a different shade of grey to the ones that they had painted that were second-hand. Um, you can actually see that a couple of aircraft... Everyone's going to see that now. <laughs> you actually, there's a couple of aircraft that have had a new radome fitted uh, that are the other shade of grey, whichever way round that was. So this could have legs, you know. So I don't know whether it's the fact that Boeing owned the paint. It's probably... Um, I don't think that that's quite true, if I was to be honest, although, I, again, I wouldn't know. Um, but it's it's definitely a different paint. Um, but it, it shouldn't be the, the sole reason why they haven't painted it in the, uh, in the dot-com livery. Everyone's going to be looking for the different shades of grey now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we are... As long as there's not 50 of them, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's done this. <laughs> right, Emirates is crossing runway one. Oh. So, right, I saw that it had pushed when I was down there. I was like, oh, should I wait? And I went, nah, I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> there it is. Chat, I thought I'd come back to you. The mighty beast from the Middle East. It's going to be going back. Probably taking the last of our sunshine with us. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Loud is holding short of coming on. Buzz has pushed, so we're going to get the buzz. That's fair, isn't it, Liz? Yeah. Because we all love a bit of a buzz. And then we are going to call it a day and then see you on Sunday. We will be doing some rubbish on TikTok. If you want to pop over, you can. I'm, I'm not going to force anyone to do that. I'm not going to like go. It's going to be on a phone. Uh, we are just literally sorting a couple of things out that have just been irritating us. Um, and as I say, we weren't going to be streaming today anyway, so it's a bit of a bonus stream. If it wasn't for Ender. So you so you got to thank Ender for this stream, or not, <laughs> depending on what your perspective is. Oh, yeah, look at the Emirates just pushing in. Yeah, get out of my way. I thought what I was going to do. I was going to look at the weather. That's how quickly I forget things. Um, is that going to be... Oh, that sun's going to pop out in any second now. No, oh, no, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right tomorrow. It's going to be all right on Sunday. Bit of a drop in temperature. Going to absolutely chuck it down on Monday. Tent day. Yeah, calling it already, tent day. Oh, I saw that. I no, I think Tom nearly fell over. Yeah. So, so Tom nearly slipped, but he doesn't want one there. <laughs> Right, head on with the mighty beast from the east in a second. Always oh, love this shot. Um, I'm going to zoom out yep. because... Um, yep. Good morning. It just looks better this way. When it comes past us, you get to see the whole of the plane. Exactly, Mike. 50 shades of grey. And that is why we choose this spot. That was epic. I agree. And I'm sure just as that was spooling up, you heard me all read Mike's comment out and then realise what Tom was on about. I went, oh! <laughs> but, uh, wow, that rotated a perfect point there, didn't it? It was fantastic, that. 
Oh, and we got the bank. So we're going to do an extended departure because that plane ain't taking off for another minute or two. Cheers, Mike. Well, like we say, well, uh, are you just is it just the buzz? <coughs> is that the buzz that we're... Yeah. Okay. No, 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 that's louder. Oh, okay. But the buzz is uh, crossing over now. Okay. Um, I guess we'll catch the, the Virgin A350 coming in on TikTok. <laughs> um, yeah, we need to sort some stuff out on there. Should be fun. We'll be back to YouTube on Sunday then. Yeah. I mean, we 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 we'll, we'll, we'll probably do one hour every three weeks on TikTok. I think we do uh, twenty plus hours every week on. Um... Yeah, don't worry. We're not like just like transitioning over to TikTok. Oh, absolutely not. No, we just uh... we, we just want to get. There's this one thing that we're trying to get out of them, and they're just not giving it because we can't get in contact with the custom support. So, uh, just trying to do something. It's trying irri- to figure it out ourselves, basically. Um, Honestly, yeah, and they, today's they are, the only really the day we can do it. So, as you can imagine, I don't have, we don't have infinite time to come out. You know, we, we do other things, so it's uh, we just have to try and fit it in. So it's you know, it's not. No, I'm not moving away or anything. YouTube is our numero uno. I don't think anything comes close, does it? To be honest, no. I mean, everyone tries and gets onto t- uh, onto YouTube, even if they're on, t- even if they do really well on TikTok. Yeah. Ah, oh, cheers, Matt. Glad you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed your breakfast as well. Yeah. Can't. I'm be. assuming you ordered it. No, I must have missed that message. I assume there was one. Matt, just stick it in the chat. You know, to the, uh, into the clubhouse. <laughs> it might be the same one. Just do it. All right, louder. Now spilling up. Uh, the buzz <laughs> is coming over, so uh, this one. Sarah's saying, please don't yawn, Simon. He's just from Paris, Orly. Uh, Buzz will be going back to Krakow. Why it be in the sunshine? All right, I think Buzz is coming on. Oh, well, pushing in front of EasyJet. Yeah. Or is EasyJet having to wait? I think it's got a slot delay, yeah. Oh, it is Paris, to be fair. Not uh, main Paris, though. But, oh, well, oh we're buzzing now. Oh, they could buzz off now. Oh, wow. Where's it going to? <laughs> Uh, crack off. Okay. We can have a coffee after this. Sounds like a plan. Right, should I pan the tail? Oh, should I pan the winglet? I'm going to do the winglet. I'm okay. going to take a gamble on this. Uh, Rascal, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just it's Ryanair's way of, uh, nice, isn't it? of yeah. doing stuff. I had the winglet. Right, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna go crazy. Oh, he's doing that thing where Jerry tax down. They're just waiting for clearance, and they're just like going, "Oh, should I have my clearance by now? I really should have my clearance by now." He's gone past two taxiways now. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see if I can pan this winglet.
Oh, I smashed that. <laughs> I won't lie. Uh, th- right, wasn't me, because I looked at you as soon as that. That sounded like he was rejecting the takeoff just for a little bit. Yeah, it was weird, wasn't it? Weird. It was weird. Yeah. But it didn't look like he was moving <laughs> hardly any at all. You know, like usually yeah. you. But uh, interesting one, anyway. Well, what a way to finish the show! You've got a winglet pan from me, and uh, of a rotating plane, which, let's be honest, is next level. I don't <laughs> think I've seen it before, so I'm going to lift off that one. There we go. Um, we'll be back on Sunday. We will be. Um, but until then, thank you everyone that's joined us this morning. Obviously, if you are on TikTok, uh, find us live over there soon for a little bit off the phone. Uh, we can show you how muddy it is then. Um, that is the benefit of using a phone. Yep. Uh, but thank you everyone who has um, liked and subscribed. Everyone who has sent super chats, buy me a coffee, uh, gift your memberships, joined as a member. Um, yeah, thank yourself, Liz. Thank you to myself. Gifting yourself. <laughs> uh, for, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Uh, we really do appreciate it so much. It means the world to us. It really does. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, thank you to Think Tom for joining us. Yes, thank you, Tom. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the show from up here. It's different. I know that most people just prefer it down the bottom. I don't. I've got to be honest. Right. I prefer you switching have to positions. Move around a bit. You've got to but try new stuff, do different stuff. All right, exactly. it's a spice of life. There you go. Mods. Awesome job. Thank you so much. Smashed it again. As always. Um, uh, what is that comment when Liz went down the path before? It was brilliant. Uh, leave that one there. Um, <sighs> anyway, see you on Sunday, everyone. Bye.